I am sure sports. You know me there, yeah. I'm coast to coast representing. I mean, I said this is right as representing for Omar. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about When me say sure, that me, me no doubt Come get your sports, get it over here Come subscribe, repost and share I am sure sports, one thing me sure about When me say sure, that me, me no doubt Come get your sports, get it over here Come subscribe, repost and share yeah, If me no sure, that me, me no say it No who score, that me, me no say it Never know no game play, that me, me no say it If me never see no game, me no know who play For your sports news, better come over your son For your soccer news, then come over your son If you don't love sports, still come over your for the day, don't you want to love over your yes, So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or no Argentina with these crap of players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. It is Manning's Man, and we're here with another one. Yes, good to have you. Good. What is it? Good evening. Welcome. I'm wearing my Arsenal shirt today, though it is the eve of Jamaica's game against Costa Rica. Just want you to know I'm still an ardent Reggae Boys fan, and I will be. At the game tomorrow, we're in my black, green, and gold. But today, I want to pay tribute to what has happened in local football. Um, firstly, because some moves have been made and a next round of the JPL has been completed. And we want to go give due respect to the league, especially at a time when the conversations concerning the national football, it's very, very toxic and troubling. Um, and so, you know, I had <laughs> um, I had a very rough show yesterday of it, right, Duncan. You don't link me yet, you know. Very rough show yesterday, and I think I need to ease off the, the, the reggae boy stuff and stick to some other things, you understand me? Uh, because that sometimes, just the disappointment in people can cause the conversation to go down some paths that are not the best for your emotional health. And so I've opted to go otherwise. I'm going to give you some good information that you all need to know um, and hear and understand what is happening. All right. So stay tuned. We're going to big up our sponsors. All right. So firstly, let us big up Prestige Finance. Prestige Finance lending a helping hand 
when you need it most. You can call them at 876-884-7390. They are located in Linston St. Catherine. And all you have to do is please give them a call. Let them know that you heard about them from I Am Sure Sports. And when you do that, right, they will give you a loan if you desire of up to $100,000, no processing fee, and same-day processing between 0 to 4% interest rate. Also want to say thank you to Launch Legacy. Launch Legacy, handle risk, seek legacy. For all of your personal insurance needs in Canada and the USA, visit them at launchlegacy.com. Or call our text 647-989-0782. Now, if you are getting older, which is inevitable, you need to check out Launch Legacy. You want to have some money put away for medical emergencies and for um, just life security and retirement. You need to speak to Launch Legacy. In fact, there's a Jamaican there who will be there to help you and to speak with you to give you good financial advice just call them i encourage you and you will be you, you will enjoy the conversation and then you can decide what to do <laughs> yeah man oh geez boss thomas I, you know what is funny boss um people boss thomas is asking me to change my jersey you know what is you know what is happening people i just got the um the new arsenal kit you know the the you know that little um and i'm thinking like no transfer in the transfer window. Well, no coming in. No, no transfer is coming in. What they're going on. But I am a loyalist, right? I'm I'm loyal to the Arsenal Football Club as I am loyal to the reggae boy. So just work, just work with the Arsenal shirt. You understand me? If you're an Arsenal fan and it, it, it is causing some bad memories, just just work with the program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but this is this is the old one i have the brand new i have the brand new the brand new kit the 20 um 21 just got it um oh my lord i don't even know if i should put i need to have money in this man anything you know, so i can't hide anymore yep 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 but um we're going to talk about some local football we're going to talk about the jpl um yeah we're going to talk about the jpl uh, but not only not only the 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 the, the jpl in terms of the scores but just what is happening as well in terms of moves in the in the JPL. Um, so we're going we're going to discuss that uh, a little bit. Look at the the, the fixtures um, this time around over this weekend. What the games were like. Um, we had um, some very interesting games today, um, yesterday, and on uh, Sunday. So. Um, for those of you who are interested in it, what is happening, I'm going to show you the 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 what what happened in the JPL uh, over this weekend. The scores. Then I'm going to show you the points standing. All right. So let's um let's go here. Yeah. So um yeah. So the JPL. Um, let's do this first. Um, see if we can. Get rid of this right here. Trying to figure out a way to remove this free ad that they have here. Not able to, but let me give you the results because we don't want to you understand me. In today's game, Arnett Gardens defeat and Humble Lion play to a 2 2 score line. Yeah, um, Fabian Reed got a double for Arnett Gardens. Yeah, Dal uh, Fabian Reed got a double for Arnett Gardens. Dallas scored for, and, and, and Thompson scored for Humble Lion. 2-2 two -two score line there. Um, Harborview today defeated Tivoli by two goals to one. Harborview playing without Akwasa Chang, who we're going to speak about. Staple scored in the 32nd minute for Harborview um, before Wright. Got one back for Tivoli Gardens before Tyreek Zeminis, the young Jamaica College, um, sent um right back came on, um and got a free kick, brilliant free kick. If you watch the if if you were watching schoolboy football, you'd have seen him try several of those 
playing for Jamaica College, but it was the ball swung in the air. He 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 does hit the ball very well. Good young talent, very good young talent. And I think, you know, the, the national team need to have their eyes on him for the Nations League that is coming up and really start seeing if he can be a right back for the future and whatever developmental work needs to be done, they need to look at doing it. No, he's he's 17 years old. If we work on him until the next campaign cycle start, he will be around 20. Whatever he needs to learn to develop, he should be able to if we put a proper coach and system in place. Mobile United defeated Molines, 10-man Molines by four goals um, to one. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, kind of funny because Mobile United also missed a penalty. It never cost them Nosworthy. Houghton had a double um, for Nosworthy. And Hart Houghton had a double for uh, Mobile United. And Barton score. Palmer was the sole scorer for Malines. Uh, Mount Pleasant defeated Veer by a goal to nil. The goal was scored by Kesani Zambi Hall. Uh, Cavaliers suffered... Um, their second defeat in a row, um, they were defeated 1-0 by Portmore United. Goal scored by Rose, who was recently called to the national team for that friendly over there in Peru. And Waterhouse defeated 10-man Dumby Holden by four goals to one. Andre Leslie uh, a, a scoring two, a Cardell Benbow and Gray getting one each for Waterhouse. While Simith scored a lone goal for Dumby Holden. Uh, the point standing after three rounds, uh, we see um, at the top of the table, we see Waterhouse with nine points. Um, in, in, in first place, Mount Pleasant are second and nine, three from three for both of those teams. Uh, Dumby Holden have six, um, having two wins. Uh, and a loss. Arnett Gardens, um, one win, one loss, one draw. They have four points. Harborview, same four points. One win, one loss, one a draw. Portmore, one win, one loss, and a draw. Um, Mobile United, two loss, one win. They are three points. Veer, two loss, one win. They are four, three points. Cavaliers, two loss, one win. Uh, three points. Tivoli, two uh, uh, two. Two drawn games and um, yeah, two drawn games, one loss, two points, two points as well for Humble Lion. And Molines is at the bottom of the table on one point. And so, some good action um, there um, in, in the JPL. Um, yeah, Portmore, indeed, they are refreshing their team. It's a completely um, new crop of players that they're using. And I have some information that I think is very important for you to know about the, the JPL this season. What is your assessment of the JPL for all the games played this season? I only see highlights because of work. Well, let me tell you. Number one, um, it is, and I'm going to confirm this for the next show on the JPL, is that I am understanding that the age, the, the average age of the JPL is making it one of the in terms of the top tier leagues in all of CONCACAF, it is one of the youngest right now. And you would have, for those of you who watch the league, you have realized that several games have been played with teams with the oldest player being 25. Um, that happened with Portmore and, um, and Cavaliers. We, we have teams that the oldest player is 25, 27. I think a game was played today with only one person in their 30s. So, it is good to see all of this young talent, so many young players in the league. It's good to see as well many of the Manning Cup players um, from last season and this season just coming into the league as well. I think the, the play has been better, the controlling and the passing, the, the setting up of the teams, it has been better um, because of the surface, surface. There are some difficulties, but it has also added to the quality of play. Um, uh, yeah, Orlando Nichols, Nicholas says, Harborview and Cavaliers have the, the, the signings pun luck. Yeah, we're going to get into that. 
because some signings are being made. So sometimes we have to be careful about general statements because sometimes when we say the league is not good, it's not producing players, then we see players leaving the league, being signed by clubs, professional clubs in the overseas market. So there is some credit in terms of the league. It may not be the best, but it is producing players. And if it is five, that we need to find a way. If only five players are produced from the from the around 360 players in total in the league, then we need to take those five and work with them, especially the younger ones, so that they can be of the quality to represent our national team. Like I said earlier, Tyreek Zeman is, is a young man, very good player. I've been talking about him from last season. And I don't know what, what the Federation is doing, but he should be in a pool that the, the national system works with him as a future candidate to look at outside of what he does as it, as, at his club. And I, what I would love to see and many people have suggested this, is that we pick the best talent, 60 or 30 of them, and there's a consistent training and working, and they are allowed to go and play with their club teams, but they train with one of the national coaches. I don't know who that is, um, who that will be, but we need to create something of that sort to, to continually have the players out here on a developmental pathway. They will go overseas like you will hear about a couple who are overseas. Shaquille Bradford left Waterhouse after just basically a season and a half. He was playing schoolboy football in 2019. He's overseas. That's what we want to see. Right? So, so there is talent. And we have to figure out how we can get the best out of the best talent. In fact, Tomorrow morning, there is a scout out of the USL here in Jamaica at the games looking for uh, looking for players. He's going to be on the program tomorrow. And he mentioned some names. And I mentioned some names to him. So there are people looking at the Jamaican market. And you know where he went to look? He came to look at the JPL. And when I spoke to him, he says, listen. I mean, we have seen the games and the product look really, really good. But still yet, we in Jamaica, we tear it down. You know, like the Bible says, a prophet is of no honor in his own town. A lot of people outside of Jamaica love what they are seeing in the local league. It's not the best, but they like what they see. When we look at it, people call it garbage. It's not garbage. If Rene Simois came and find diamond in the rough, there is some diamond here. The diamond has not all left. The, there, there is still diamond in Jamaica that needs to be found and de de developed. All right? The field, I get a, a lot of players injured. Ah, you, you know what? People, you know, I checked on that, but a lot of... Um, I think last season we had more injuries because the players were unfit. But the players seem to be doing a whole lot better this season. I think they had better preparation. But I'm going to be talking to a couple of the coaches, hopefully tonight, because, you know, um, yeah. I think, like, the, the players are fitter. The players are fitter. Therefore, the, 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 the injuries are not as... Um, much as they were last season. That's what I realized. I think it is the short timing that affected the, the, the short preparation time that affected that last season. Yeah, man, big up fresh guard. Your team um, came from um, behind to get a, a, a draw today. Good to see um, Vishnal Harris um, playing, looking well. He played for a place for Humble Lion. Good to see him again. Even the Humble Lion team is looking a whole lot better than they did last year. They took on a young Arnett Gardens team and they really held on. Fabian Reed um, returning to the starting lineup for Arnett Gardens got a double. Um, they gave the Trinidadian female referee a very hard time. She had to be telling the players, do not touch me. Hey, players, 
Leave the ladies alone. Why? Why you want to touch up the ladies and put on on them shoulder? Why when the man them a ref not do that? Let me ask you this. Players, players, players. Why when they are male referees, you don't go and spot them and touch them and rub down them shoulder? You don't do that. So don't do it to the female. Leave the lady alone. Some people undermining Chris Williams, benefiting from the product. Same people undermining Chris Williams, benefiting from the product he put together. Yeah, listen, if Chris Williams earned from this, kudos to him. If the man business benefits from this, kudos to him. If, if, he, if he's a part of making the things better because of his business, then I don't have a problem with his business benefiting. That's my thing. Saying that football players in Jamaica are not good can no long, longer be said. Yeah. Yeah, we can't say they are not good. I think we just need to find a way of helping them to get better. A lot of things sometimes need to be improved in their games. But, but like I said, that tomorrow morning, I'm going to have Bobby Murphy. Bobby Murphy is here. Um, I know that he's probably meeting with a couple of the footballers. I know at least one that he's having dinner with, with the hope of bringing him overseas, right? And so he's leaving Jamaica. The re his, his primary reason in Jamaica is kind of to find three players to bring overseas. Um, recently, let me just give you a little update. Recently, I did an interview with a Jamaican teenager, Matthew Baker. He has signed in Germany. Basically, not confirmed yet, but he's going to be signed in Germany. Right? There's a J Jail Hardware. He's going to be signed, possibly in Turkey. So there is talent. It is how we manage the talent that is important. One lion, the humble lion man in the building. <laughs> oh, your team look today, Fresh God. You need to come out. Hey, people, Fresh God love local football. No? Don't, don't you hear him talk about the English player? No? Him don't, don't ramp with them and them carrying that football. You, know? you better know that. Him don't miss a game. Flow better than ramp with him. Oh. <laughs> We need hardest people for please. Waterhouse, look, yeah, man. Like I'm saying that, listen, people, when you look at like Waterhouse play, like this guy named Howell, Howell in the middle of the park, very, very good holding midfielder. Um, Ramon Howell is his name. I think that's his name. Very good player for Waterhouse. Andre Leslie, good. They play very good. Portmore does well. Listen, Wally Downs is known. Joe coach down at Mount Pleasant. The, 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 the champion college coach who works with Teagat at Arnett Gardens. Good coach. Andrew, Andrew Price getting it right. Mr. Price, I like your Humble Lion team playing because I gave you a hard time last season because you just look out of it. But Humble Lion looking better this year. You understand me? I see Donovan Ducky out there at Veer trying to get his team to play more offensive. The league going sweet, you know. It's just that we can't have fans watching the game. You understand me? Yeah, man. Big up the Clarendon team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man, no, man, no touch, man. No, the, the, listen, Bridget, don't touch up, touch up the female. Like, no one, touch up the female referee, brother. I mean, you know that. Because the female referee, like, don't touch me. That's not supposed to go on. Man is man. How did my. No, man. Hey, people. Hey, Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant will be in the semi finals, you know. It's just when they get there, what they're going to do. And I love the fact that every game, Mount Pleasant players, their academy players. Every game them bring them on. Every game, the man them bust the next set of academy players. Listen, them doing a good job, playing good, good football, Jarvis. I mean, Reggie Boo, you know Reggie Boo from Mali. Reggie Boo looked like him back to himself when he was called for the national team. Alwee and Harvey playing ball. They got this guy named Sigri, Courtney Sigri. Good, good baller. They um the center back. The guy on his center back, Kevin Lane, playing good football. Ladiel Richie look fit. You want to play some good, good football. People, there's a player at Mount Pleasant. I want you to watch him. His name is Alwi and Harvey, a box-to-box -box midfielder. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Watch him. 
Watch him. Good baller. Good, good baller. Yeah, all right. So let me... Yeah, Chang. All right, so let me tell you about Chang. So Chang has moved. Akwasa Chang has moved from Harborview. Um, the deal is signed. He just needs to get his documentations ready. And his medical. He has moved to es Esberg. E-S-B-J-E-R-B. -E Esberg, I think the J is silent in it. It's in the Danish first division. I think they finish um, in, in the top of that first division. All right. However, however, the, the, the first division is different from the Danish Super League. The top flight Danish league is called the Danish Super League. So he's not in the Super League. He's in the the league below that, which is the first division. So he's one division below. Right? Um, Jaden White has also moved from Cavaliers to Phoenix Rising in the USL. So that's two players moving. Um, somebody just also saying that um, Zander Bicknell from from um phoenix academy yeah um good good midfielder good midfielder i'm um, signed for fortuna colon in germany see lot of news um big up king job so the thing there Jerry, i forgot the name of the team but before i finish i'll get it i'll get the name of the team um, in Germany that he's going to be signing for. Chong is going to Denmark. It, it, it's the first, the, the, team is, the team is in the first division. Not the, it is the second level, but it is the first division. Um, it's called ESB, A-E-R. I think Rudolf Austin um, played for that team, you know. I think Rudolph, Rudolph Austin play for uh, um play for that league. Play uh, um play for that team. I think Rudolph Austin played for that team um at some point of his career. Yeah. So yeah. But somebody says second division. I, I yeah, I think Daniel Green is the best winger I saw so far. Yeah, man, he's really looking good this season. Remember, Theodore Whitmore had called him to the team, you know. Um, I think that was when he was at Harborview. He moved to Mount Pleasant, and I think since that time he has struggled to to break into the team. Um, last year, Humble Lion looked like <laughs> yeah. Listen, kudos to Coach Andre Price. He has really gotten them physically conditioned for the league. I mean. I think they are the most players with big belly last season. So they are looking a whole lot better this season. Moby United a win. <laughs> hey, listen, one thing I love with Moby United. Hey, what a team can create chance. Hey, the, listen, Moby United will probably finish the season with the most missed opportunities. One thing with them, they know how to create opportunities. They, but them can miss them. Man, them all miss all penalty and win by 4-1. I'm lying. Chuck a roll out down to Jamaica with a lot of Rasta flag. Jamal with a lot of Rasta flag over team. Oh, all all of the team get scared. Yeah, man. Well, I'm to the, yeah, warm to all of the Rasta. Then we used to follow Humble Lion. Notice, fresh got warm to all of them Rasta. We used to follow Humble Lion. Yep, we need to get more of our. Oh, uh, standout players, um, JPL younger players in Europe. Yeah, man, we need to get them. And that's what I like about the league. Of course, it's going to affect the the quality of the league because if your best talent go overseas, that is what's going to happen. Um, the league quality may go down, but so that's why we have to keep producing, um, you know, young talent. The leader. All right, I'm going to pin the link so that the leader you can jump on. Um and, and share with us because you yeah, are the man with the transfer details.
Yeah, so the leader pin in the links here can jump on and, and be a part of the discussion. If you're here and you want to talk about your team in the JPL, we have some other news. We have some reggae boy stuff that we're going to share as well. Um, so that is coming up, you know, but we don't we don't want the thing to get <laughs> toxic. <laughs> Can't manage it no more. We have a rough week already. Huh? That's that way. Can't make it get toxic like, you know what I mean? Like plastic. <laughs> um, Devonte Campbell was good for Mount Pleasant. Yeah, good. He, he, you know, he's 17 years old. As you know, um, All Topic TV, he was called to the Peru game. So I, I think as we look to probably rebuild, if, you know, that he's one of those players, like I think, should be in a system that that build them. Maybe they can, I don't know, maybe they can reach out to a Wally Downs while he's here in Jamaica, that he can have camps with these younger players uh, because he seemed to be getting something out of these young talent at Mount Pleasant. Maybe because he's in Jamaica, there could be a partnership where he has sessions with some of these better talents in Jamaica um, on a consistent um, basis. Um, is it, you sure? It's, I thought it was Donovan Segree, right, Fresh God? And they told me that it is Courtney Segree. And I checked it and it says Courtney Segree, the leader. Segree that used to play for Cavaliers. What is his correct name? Mount Pleasant will get the champ, the Champions League spot. <laughs> Freedom Vlog MD. He went to the champion. Uh the Champions League. Um spot. We love that. From who? Isn't that to Cavaliers and Waterhouse because they they finished first and second last season? Big Nell on their official site. Be careful. We have been this way several times with Phoenix players. I wait for an official. Oh, 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 you're waiting an official announcement. All right. What what okay. I know the ones that I have brought, they are official. I have official proof of them, but I'll check out that one, all right? And then Freedom Yard said the leader, it's, it's, it is second tier, but they call it the first division. Okay, so I was right. Thank you. Yeah, man, it's still a good, yeah, it's still a top league. It's Denmark. It's, it's, I think it's one league away from the Danish Super League. Yeah. The leader, it was on the Fortuna Cologne story. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Dre. Thank you, Dre. All right. Um, management did their football feeling sent and got approved by the JP. Hey, listen. Hey, we need to all right, watch out. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams. Let me send this to Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, sir. Mr. Christopher Williams. Good good evening, sir. This is Manning's man. We and Mr. Rudolph Speed, if you're listening, if you're watching this at any point, please help us. We need the jersey, the, 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 the names on the back of the jerseys. We have people in the diaspora now starting to watch and follow the stuff. We can't get the first names we, we need the, we need the names at the, we need the names at least the surnames on the back of the jersey the league going too good for us to not have the names i know you want to fill it up with sponsors but we need the names we need the names so help us with that with the field now mr williams mr speed the rest of the jpl members all the games cannot be played. One, you're going to destroy the field. So you're going to end up that when the national teams need it, it can't be used anymore. We have to find a way of playing games elsewhere. Don't go stadium east too much. The wind over there is bad. Play them in the national stadium if needs be. Work out something with Independence Park. Jaxal is there. You can't have good security. People can't just go into Jaxa like that, you know. Well secure. Catherine Hall is there. Can Mobile United in it? Play a Mobile United game down there. Or a double header down there. Make, let Mobile United and say Mount Pleasant play a double header down there. Get the JUTC if you do the transportation. Bring them on to the sponsorship. But we can't play all the games on this surface. We need to play some of the games on some real, real grass. This is three weeks now. Three weeks now. 
them still about just through a COVID, the rest of them did <laughs> about, man. <laughs> all right, so they, all right then. Come here, I wonder a long time, you know, see the rest of them are follow around Humble Lion and all them now leave farm. Only farm them watch much. I think I just took that one. Yeah. The league league champions will be out. Oh, oh. And Mount Pleasant will be the champions. My prediction. All right. Okay. Oh. oh. That's good. That's good. That's good. I didn't know that freedom and true, man. Believe no names. No on the jersey. No, yeah, man. We need the names on the jersey. Especially, listen, with so many new players. <laughs> Hey, look, lad. Hey, me need somebody to read some of them comments here. Because everybody put up the comment, them and me end up putting them up and read what them say. <laughs> them, them, them make me lose me. The thought. You understand me? <laughs> all right. No, all right. No games at the stadium, bees. All right, man. No games at the stadium, bees. But uh, let's, let's see if we can make a couple of calls and get a couple of persons who can give us some updates. Um, um, you know, uh, yeah, and see if we can get some 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 answers to some of the questions that we have. But um, organizers, we need we need we need the names on the jersey. Easy one that, easy one that. So let's let's work on that. Please and thanks. Please and thanks. Please and thanks. So let let's make a couple of calls, um, and see if we can get some information about some of the players that are moving um yeah we're going to talk some regular boys football as well All right. Go, go, go. Yeah, man. People, good e again, people, we want to invite um, president, coach, chairman, chief executive officer of Cavaliers, Mr. Rudolph Speed. Good evening, you sir. Know, evening. You know, so I'm going to stop going for RGR because what I know to call me, so like we had just called me. Yeah. I'm tell them, uh, if that's all them doing it, see me. I'm stuck up on our chair. I'm telling them I'm not going to it for one year. If you notice, in a year, I'm going to it again. You know? Really? And then that's the call me. I'm telling them I'm not going to it station because, first of all, it's a lie. I am only the sporting director. We have a chairman by the name of Ryan Foster, the president named Andrew Thomas, a coach named David Layla, secretary named Rodin Speed, the general CFO named Kishana Williamson. We are the most diverse and professional outfit in Jamaica. So I am not fond of that name. Okay. So, all right. So we, we retract that. Mr. Speed, please. I was just joking, people, but Mr. Speed said that please don't call him on the head cook and back the washer. Him don't wash bottle and him don't cook. Exactly. Because I employ <laughs> also seven persons. I'm a driver. Why would I wash the bottle? <laughs> You just made the head cook. Why would I watch the bus? <laughs> All right. All right, boss. But good news for Cavaliers. More money into the coffers. You know, um, a next player making a move to the USL. So congratulations. No, no. Well, it's not. The ink isn't dry yet, you know, because it's more like he's there for preseason. So there's no oh. agreement in place. So we just allowed him to go on and, and, and for preseason. Okay. And so how long? I mean, and how long, one, let me just ask this. How does this affect Cavaliers in terms of, because he's your, your number one goalkeeper. I mean, the transfer window is closed out here, so it's not like you can bring in anyone. Do you have replacement for him, and how long is this preseason? Well, we have Vina Joseph. He's the, he's the starting goalkeeper for St. Lucia. We had brought him in um, because we were, look, we were planning ahead because we were saying, you know, Jamaica could be playing in the Nation Cup. They could be playing World Cup qualifiers. And um, Jelin, who was a part of the national setup, we would be left wanting. So we had secured 
um, the St. Lucia international goalkeeper as backup for Jedin. So, um, and he's very competent. So once Jedin has, has left, of course, there's a little learning curve, but um, we don't think we're going to lose a lot in that department if Jedin is successful. And we hope he is because of the replacement that we had for him. Okay, so that's good. So you, 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 you have no worries really in the goalkeeping department? Well, we need a good number two now. That's really our worries. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And you also suffered your second loss of the season. Is, is it time to worry or is it still early days? Uh, <laughs> well, we have a system, you know. We make sure we give everybody a game to see what they can do from early. When it comes down to the business end, if you notice last season, the last five games, nobody could even score a goal on us. Um, so what we do in the early part of the season is to give everybody a run out, a try out to see what they can do. And then we take time, close our ranks with the better performance, and then um, we'll go for it. Okay. The, the, one, a couple of things, though, just in general, in terms of the league, before I get back to Jaden, is um, is there any plans to have numbers on the back of the jersey? Because even for me, I'm struggling with keeping up with all the numbers. Players. There's numbers on the sorry, back of the sorry, jersey. Sorry, not numbers, names. The, the names of the players, sorry. The right. Names. So what happened is that because, you know, the sponsors came on so late, um, we, we we were just struggling to get the gears out because, you know, each gear had to care a particular sponsor. So um, we, we don't have long-term contract in place. So that is really what happened there. So for the, for the supplier to get the gears out on time, they just had to go with the basic. So as the weeks go by, you'll start to see more persons putting on the names on the shirt. I will start in the dust and I will do all that. Okay, so all right, so that's something we can because a lot of people, especially those in the diaspora, has been calling and saying that you know, like you, because we in like the locals probably watch a lot of schoolboy football, familiar with the names, but the persons who are just coming into the league now, um, need to know those names. I agree. Okay, um, the, the, the other thing, somebody is just asking if you can bring Kyle Butler into your team. In my team, <laughs> ask him to bring. Yeah, Kyle Butler is playing for Phoenix. I, I played a game against him the other day. It's on the it's on the way it's on YouTube. You know, you can go and watch it. The person and Kyle Butler was definitely playing for um Phoenix. For Phoenix. Okay. And, uh, and he's he's on his way back. So. Okay. The, the the next um, question with the league is what what is going? Um, all right. When are we going to move to other venues? Are there any plans? Because I, I will, will the consistent playing on the surface surface affect? You have, you have to ask the minister, local government. What, what we are, you know, we are just a lot concerned with ensuring that our players get paid each month. So we're not going to incur any expenses that will reduce the amount of money that is paid to the club to make sure that players get paid. So until the government, you know. Say we have we'll have spectators who can earn some revenue. We'll be staying at Captain Horace Burrell, which is the best venue for us at this time, based on um, what the JFF has done for us in terms of giving us the venue at a really cheap rate. You know that we cut our cost dramatically. So we're grateful for the JFF for that, and we're going to be there until the minister says we can play football um, in a. We can accept spectators. Oh. Then we'll. Be. Okay, so venues have been approved, but it's just that it's not financially prudent to play. Right. Well, yeah, we can always play at Stadium East or National Stadium. That those are approved venues already. Oh, oh, I was thinking, I was thinking more like Draxall. Well, I hear people talk about Draxall, and while we'd like to play there, it's expensive to carry eight teams from Kingston to go there. There's only one from Montego Bay. It's still far to come to Draxall and to come to Kingston from Clarendon. So all of those expenses are additional expenses to play without spectator. Then we have to look at that television product, and um, you can't fool yourself. People like to... Uh, Captain Burrell's television product is very good. Um, so the quality... At this point in time, we're selling the product. To, to, that's where we're getting a lot of our revenues from, from the sale of the, of the viewership. Um, we don't want to play around with that quality unless, you know, there's going to be spectators there to hide some of the views, like at Jack's or some of the, you know, the parts that don't look so good. Um, the spectators will really hide it or we will have to decorate the stand. So every time you think about the additional cost to get that. Okay. Okay, I see. All right. Um, 
Uh, someone is asking, I mean, I noticed that um, Chris, um, Ian, Christopher Ainsworth played um, some part in the last game. We also noticed that um, from, from uh, Rochester played, um, it, it's clear Clark being given a little bit more time to rest before he is. Um, no, he, Cleo Clark will be in action this weekend. I spoke to him. Um, he doesn't want any rest. He's on his way up. Um, he's here today or there tomorrow, so he'll be in action. He'll be in action this weekend. Okay. Um, any 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 other any other new player you signed out of the schoolboy football that we could be seeing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to come to Cavalier. We're speaking to them. Oh, you're still speaking to them. Not conclusive yet. Yeah. No, but, some of them come already. We have signed one. Um, that is Chambers from from Radin Chambers from I can't remember. Happy Grove? No man. The Happy Grove players training with us too. Um and we signed Chambers from a like, school at coached by um Andrew Pierce. I can't remember the name of the Glenn Muir. Yeah, we have sign him. Um we're talking to others which I don't want to call their name. They're supposed to come to training, so um, things looking up. Okay, okay, okay. All right, things looking up. Cavaliers struggling at this time, but things looking up. <laughs> no, we're not struggling. Early days. <laughs> Two loss. Are, are you not struggling? You're very confident. Not... You're very confident, we're, man. They're, they're... We're lost for the best team in the competition. Galactic Coast Water House. So <laughs> Galactic <laughs> Galactic Water House. I love that. Yeah. But, but I must admit that the play has been very good. Um, so far, I think it's going to be a very competitive season. Um, good football is being played, and so um, that's a good news. So you said that Jaden is there for preseason. Um, generally, when people go on, on these things, they normally sign. So that means that 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 could be good for Cavaliers. Again, is there anyone else that could be leaving Cavaliers? Um, we see Aquasa Chang just leaving Harborview. Are there any other Cavaliers player that they are under radar of, of club? Um, well, remember we have we have um, come out into transfer to El Salvador. Remember we had um, Doctor Lee who is in Poland. We're not sure what his situation is, so he was on trial there. Too, so we we'll keep keep keeping our fingers crossed. Um, of course, we have had inquiries. We have offers for like a um, busy Atkins. We have offers for Webster. We have offers for Campbell, Kenroy Campbell. Everybody remember that name, Kenroy Campbell. Um, he must play for the national team. Um, so we have had offers. Some of them just don't look good, so we're just not biting. But um, <laughs> but um, we, we we have an offers, and of course Richard King is the hottest property about this. I mean, I've I've inquiries from like almost every continent for him so far. So we, we, you know, we are keeping our fingers crossed. We have an offer for two people, but um, some of these people love the cheapness. I'm not into the cheapness and the freeness. So that's where we are. Okay. A, a couple more questions for you because I know you're on the road. So I want you to be safe and saying is one, um, will 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 the overuse of the field damage the field? Or it can it can it can it, 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 like no, man, but that field is is built to play twenty four hours a day. As long as as it is um as long as it is maintain properly you can't damage that field that field can last 10 years playing straight so the only damage is if somebody you know start to use a lot of pegs on it and they dig up the turf but if that can repair but yeah that would be the only problem okay and then someone is asking about catherine hall that i mean it's a beautiful stadium but i guess you're going to say the transportation yeah that would kill us imagine us carrying 11 teams down there just to play one team. That's a no it's a it's a no brainer. We can't go there. If we do that, we'll be boxing out food out of the players them mouth. And and they are the most important one there. All of us, other one of us watching the game, coaching, we have our money, we have our salaries. You know, with the money that we get we want to pay to the players, not to give it to transportation, etc. You know. So yeah. that's out of the game unless you have inspected. That's Did you say that Kenroy Campbell Will play for the national, or should play for the national team, or can play for the national team, or will play for the national team? Because I'll of... <laughs> no, <because laughs> <He's> of... that good. <laughs> Which school did he, did he play for Rossies? Somebody's asking if he play for Rossies. 
Yes, and he plays for the national under seventeen team. Remember, he was on that team, so he okay. plays left back. He's he's just an awesome player. Awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So it's the same. It's the ex Rossi's player. Okay. Yeah. So left I think back on the winning team. Okay. So when think... he was pretty young, probably sixteen. Okay. So you think he's good enough? No. To to. No, there is nobody like him in Jamaica that can play <laughs> left back like him. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So, well, we'll see. I need to Kenroy Campbell, left back at Cavaliers. I will. I will I forget that name. Who are you playing against next? We're playing Umberland. That seems to be running into some form now. All right. I'm happy for them. Um, so, uh, as, as I say, we are adjusting, and this is what they do every year. We play all, get, make everybody get a game. Then we decide what the right team is. So, we're looking to make sure that we, we don't, you know, miss any. Mr. B. So that's where we well, are. Well, I am going to Umbland, be uh, I am going to be looking out for Mr. Kedra and Camblino. So tell him that man is one watching him. <laughs> because you put him on the spotlight, you know. <laughs> so you just let it's him know now that his name is out there. So everybody gonna have their eyes on him. I know, let them have their eyes. The first game he played in the Premier League this year, he was in the team of their own. Team of their own. Oh, because somebody saying that is it is um Ir Irvin this is starting at left back. That was just the last game though. Right. In the in the first game he was the one who started. Yeah, and that... the second game. Man. Well the humble lion man them say that the lions are forward in for them <laughs> For your, for, for, your, for your three points, for your three points. So I wouldn't expect anything less. That's what makes the game fun. Everybody come for the three points. All right. Um uh, somebody is asking, what are your plans for the um free freedom vlog? FC is asking, what are your plans for the CFU championships? Because that's supposed to start in March. Yeah, no, me. It's been played in Dominica Republic. It's not going to be played in Jamaica. It's gonna be played in oh. Dominica Republic from May 13th to 25th. Um, so we are just hoping by that time we will be in full force. We'll have all our players together. The, those that come in in the, in the March transfer window will get about two months to work with them. And then we'll pick the best friends to go over there. And, and um, we only have one thought, to qualify for the Kanga Cup round of matches. There's no other thought in our mind. Okay, so, okay. Uh, but by, and, and I guess by that time, the local league would be in the either finished are in the final stages or, or would that work if you if you're if you're there would uh, what usually happens is that they, they give us they would give you a lot of games you know put a lot of your games up front so we will have to play probably two games during the week and then we'll go away so we don't we're not so far behind um when we come back okay and what is the format of that cfu championship is it like three teams in a zone and the top team goes through to the next round or yeah, it's gonna be six teams. Um, it's gonna be six teams. Two from Dominica Republic, two from Jamaica, Jamaica, and two from um, he plays them eighty. Um, the first three qualify automatically to the Concacaf tournament, and the fourth place team play off with the Shield champion. Um, to go to the tournament. So effectively. Um, once you come first to the fourth, you have a good chance of going to. Well, first to third is automatic, and you still have another chance to come fourth. Okay, and and the clubs so, are are the clubs are responsible to finance their travel and stay in Dominica, or see if you will. No, cover? the Dominica Republic will take as the host country will take up the, the lodgings and transportation and food. We have to find our transportation with a small um, help from CFU um, for us transportation so um but based on how the thing is now we kind of believe we we're, we're clearly we might have to have to take a chart and flight because you know COVID, and then we're looking at having to travel you're looking at having to travel you know to panama if you don't have no visa and usa and come back you know so Okay, well, Cavalier is good. Chartered flight. I think yeah, it looks like it's chartered flight. Yeah. But, oh. but you know, although Waterhouse is our rival, we and them have to try to get our jets together. 
Okay. I don't intend to try to charter one day itself. Okay. Um, somebody here is asking about, I don't know if he's a Cavalier player, what, what happened to Javon Francis Excalibur? Yeah. Javon Francis Excalibur, left foot, skillful player. And um, the twins who live in Redis who used to go to Woolmers, they were part of your setup. Javon Francis. Javon Francis, you know, left footed. Well, you know, I know who it is, but he stopped for a long time. I know who it is. Red them call him. Okay. Very good player, but he just stopped for a long time. Um, which Calabar player skillful? You mean Siobhan Marsh? No, no, that was a Francis. He said it's a, he's an ex um, Calabar player. Then he was asking about some twins that used to go to Woolmers that were apparently a part of your setup. Woolmers? Yeah. What is his name? No, they didn't give me the name, so I don't know. I just asked him because the question came in for you. But that's all right if you don't know the name. Okay, so that sounds like Cal Cal um, Cavaliers and Waterhouse. Should be. Have you done scouting on the teams you're going to play? Because I know the those Haitian teams. I think the yeah, last. We don't know the draw hasn't taken place yet, so we're we're not scouting yet. Okay, because I know the Haitian teams normally. I mean, I I don't know what league is played in Haiti, but they seem to always give the, the Jamaican teams problems. I think they knocked out Waterhouse the last time as well. It because it was played out here and it was the Haitian team that knocked out. I think Waterhouse at the stadium. Uh, where was that? Yeah, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, Asians are very good team, very skilled team. They have a large population and they love the game because a lot of football is played in the in the environment where it is unsupervised, which is where you get a lot of skills. People don't understand that they're unsupervised. They play 25 hours a, a week instead of also train 8 hours a week. So they learn skills that we don't have because of just that fact alone. It's one of the last that hurt. Where unsupervised football is played so much in Haiti because it's so cheap and everybody wants to play. So they always have good, skillful players that learn the business. And um, I suppose you know, they're always a tough competitor. Yeah. All right. Well, it's so like you, 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 you just reached a destination. So I want to thank you, Mr. Speed, for your time. And seeing we're looking, right, yeah, man, looking forward to having the jerseys um, with, right. with names on the back of it. Um, coming soon and I hope that you guys can get permission because I think we need to see some football on, on, on the grass. I like the artificial turf thing. Um but like, yeah. Uh, I want to I want to see I want to see and some other uh, um, as we say if we had to play on the rock stone we would play because we really want to play. So we understand you still but we have to be patient. Um economics is of most important. All, all right. right. So thank you. Yeah man you're yeah. welcome. All right. Bye. Yeah man thanks again. All right, so there you go, people. Hope um you heard, you got answers for most of the questions that you have. We're gonna to try to reach out to some um other persons just touching base with them, hearing their thoughts. You know, imp interesting things are happening in the league. So um yeah, let's 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 see who else is is out there, ready and waiting to come and talk to you so you can ask them questions. All right, what are the questions? Man call unseen. Welcome to the show, man. How are you doing? Been well, a while. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Long time. You know, yeah, man. Been just a while. from school. You know, teaching okay. is, is a, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. And you <laughs> just completed, I mean, you just completed your coaching course as well. Right. Um, did you pass? I think so. And um, no result has come out as it, but based, based, based on what I um did in the in the practical and the theory i i passed it all right give, give us give us why don't you share with us give us an overview of your whole thought and the whole um coaching course how did you, what did you, what are your thoughts on it well it's it's a course that i think it's very important because it's the it's focused on the grassroots um in previous videos, I, I, I talked about the butterfly effect, where, you know, 
at this level, grassroots level from at 6 to 13, it's called the 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 um golden the golden years of learning, um, which is very important to teach the the, the, the the right fundamentals to these players so that you know we can create that big storm over in a couple couple of years. You understand? Um, so it, it it was a it's a very important you know coaching course. Um, Mr. Peart, Mr. Speed, Lamar, Morgan, you know, did a good job. The, the president of St. Catherine FA did a good job, the secretary also, and all the coaches that you know came on to came to the, 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 the coaching course, you know, did well. Um, we have the likes of Wolver Wolf, you know, Umberland player there. You have Coach Daly the assistant coach from um Mullins FC and also the Walker Cup assistant coach champion with, with Saint Catching. So we had a lot of top coaches there coming back to learn, you know, how to develop youngsters. Yeah, understand me. So it was a nice and a well put together course by the JFF, you know, and Mr. Mr. Peart is doing a good job. I don't know why they didn't want it to, to, to give you the coaching, the principal job in the first place, and you deserve it. You understand me? So man is one. It was a it was a good course. Um, I learned a lot in terms of how to really put together and, and stay to stay in the, the lane of the objective when putting together a, 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 a session, which is very important. um and how many coaches were were there at, in, in the course it was i it started at 24 and then i think two or three drop, dropped out okay so you say it was worth the money and very it was organized. worth the money very organized you know lunch was on time everything was on time the powerpoint the, the, the information to us was on time um you know the teachers were, 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 were open for discussion even when we were against them with some decision you know they stood strong and stuff yeah, and they give us point of view they don't shut down our points they add to it which is very important also by by teachers you understand me because sometime in the real world the the, the, the the book method won't work and you know they have to really you know differentiate the difference between those stuff so you know that's after them man is man they did well yeah 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 man dre any weather your, your club making some money man i trying to i, I trying to get someone out there to come and tell us how much money how much money um <laughs> um across a chunk has signed for you know because <laughs> i heard um that when the person was being interviewed, they said it was for financial reasons the player has moved. But um, you have been watching the league so far, um, the JPL. What are your thoughts on the on the first three rounds? Uh, People, so the link is pinned. If you want to come and talk about the JPL, the first three rounds, they can. I play. like I like how Waterhouse is playing. You know, they dominated Cavaliers and they. Dominated, uh, dominate the game against Dumbi Olin. I watched that game. Um, I think Fletcher is having a good season so far. You know, the whole team you can see they're they're, they're playing, uh, they're playing a passing type of football. You know, position moving movement after ball and stuff like that. So, Waterhouse is really doing well, and yeah, they are they, they look like they want to win this championship. Also, I saw. Um, Mount Pleasant, you know, we're using the youngsters. They're going to, they're going to the, the route of using the youngsters. You know, Campbell, they are doing well. Go, doing well, and you know, some seasoned player in the Premier League also. You know, Clean Price, um, Sule Makala, they are doing well, and you know, Mount Pleasant is going to be one of those teams, which is you have to beat them to win this. You know, championship. 
Cavaliers on the other hand, money's one. Um, a rocky start, you know, some indiscipline, getting red cards and stuff. Weak, weak, weaker team, weakened team against um, the Warthos team. So it's difficult, but I think they will bounce back because they have a great mind down there as a coach. She's speed. <laughs> I think yeah. I think the team will bounce back. Yeah, but I haven't heard you mention Waterhouse, who I think playing the best football in the league. That's what I said. Waterhouse first. I talked about Waterhouse first. Okay. Yeah, I think Waterhouse playing some good football. Um, I like, like I say, I like Arnett Gardner's look. But what happened to your goalkeeper? Who that? Uh, I mean, the man from McGraw. <laughs> Damn it. I had you they mean, watching. Hayat, they're watching. <laughs> yeah, he keeps conceding. Mr. Hayat, what happened? The defense. You know, why? Those goals are good goals, you know. Four? Yeah, but look at the goals that score on him. In one game? And how much in the other? He has not nah, had a clean sheet of competition. The defense line is not good enough. The defense line is not good enough. But 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 if no goals were being scored, you would you you'd say that the goalkeeper is good. It's, it's tricky. You have You're to one really... man that I look shaky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, uh, you know, when when goals score on you, you're going you're going to get the blame. But sometimes you have to really blame the whole defense. You can't blame my, my single or one man. My issue now with half of you, you know, is who's going to score the goal? So how about you? <laughs> Reed. Uh, who? Reed. So how about you? Yeah, Reed. Which Reed? Trayvon Reed? He didn't even play today. I'm wondering if it was because it was playing. He, they were playing against Steve Ali Gardens. Why he sat on the bench? <laughs> you realize? Yeah. I, I found that very strange because he's he is a starter. You understand me? Um, so I don't know. I don't know if he didn't play because the team was going to play a game against. Um, Tivoli Gardens and he probably, you know, I don't know, didn't want to play in that game. Because I found it strange, that, like I said, that he wasn't a part of the setup, given that um, Aquasa, you know, was not available. Okay. Yeah, Ricardo Thomas look, look, looks good, man. Looks good, looks like one for the future. The regular boy in that wing back position. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Ricardo Thomas? I think he's. A, I think as like I, 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 like I just feel. Here's what, here's what I think. When I look at international football, I feel like players of his stature would struggle. Mm. I, I just feel like even Ricardo Gardner. When you look back at a Ricardo Gardner, he had to put on weight. I think. Um. He's too sl he's too fragile for the, 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 the there needs to be some weight training and 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 muscle building where he's concerned. As, uh, that's my concern. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't I don't see you tell me you tell me an international defender that have the same frame. Uh you know, most of them were, were dominating are right, yeah. Maybe I think Look at Trent. 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 Trent is not. I mean, you. You look at some of the best wing backs out there. Um, the, the two at Liverpool, they have. They are not like skinny players. You look at Tierney at Arsenal. You look at. You look at um, Alex Telles or, you understand me, um. No man. Somebody saying Sergio Ram. No man. Who saying Sergio? Sergio Ramos is is is. Sergio Warmos is not skinny man. Look at I think I think um Ricardo is a very good player, but they have to find a way of him putting on some some mass and keeping his talent. I just think so. I think at the international or at the professional level, he would struggle. But at the amateur level, I think he will um he can cope. But once you, the higher up you go. In competition is a tough fight going to be for you to keep that kind of frame and and and, and work out. I man is man. 
um, I think you know this is one of the biggest problems in, in Jamaica. You know, we don't we tend not to to, to, to to really focus on the physical aspect of of, of players, the individual players. You understand me? And I think that's in football, in football, and I think that is you know one of the problems. If you look at James for, for Chelsea, look at his structure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know those are the players that are you know. Uh, All right, yeah. I'm gonna give you an example of a young player who still is not he's bigger than um the young player at arsenal Saka. Saka, and Saka yeah. yeah and he's not when you look at them you can see that the, their ties they have big ties so they have put on weight and that's what i want to see with our players one of the things i must say i appreciate with hyatt um well, it's it, no, man. Program. no man, no, man. I, think, I think hyatt is the fittest man in the prim- i think he's overfit <laughs> Yeah, I think that's goalkeeper. I think he works out too much. <laughs> I think all of that, most of that him working out and every day him there at gym and a lift weights. I don't know if he's doing it because of football or he's doing it because he won. You understand me? It, but he don't show him now. Yeah? He don't show him. Really? He don't show him. I don't know. But but I don't know. Him just don't look agile. Him don't look like one of those keepers that is very active and moves. Up and down and around in the goal. I'm quick, man. I'm quick in the goal, man. Really? Yeah, man. I don't know. Somebody, football farmyard. What What are your thoughts on Hyatt? People, tell me what are your thoughts on Hyatt? I'm not. I, I am not saying this because he's my friend, but I am. I watched him previously in Carnal League, in the Premier League, and I he's quick. He's quick. Hey, he's league goalkeeping different, you know. I know, but you know, the, the Premier League player keeping Sule Makala and um. So the kicking off, kicking off time and him, you know, saving them in the in the corner league. So let me let me tell you who are the, the better goalkeepers that I see. The Waterhouse goalkeeper named Foster, good goalkeeper. Um, the Mount play, Sean Paul, good goalkeeper. Good goalkeeper. Um, humble and goalkeeper Taylor. I'm talking about the ones that I've seen looking really well. Taylor. Yeah, those three. The the, the Mullins goalkeeper shaky. Um, the Cavaliers, Jaden White, and the other goalkeeper keep changing. I don't know if I have to see more than a new goalkeeper. The, the hub of you goalkeeper. Him not look bad at all. Who? The new goalkeeper, Arch Cavaliers. Yeah, he's, he's, he's what? The St. Lu- the St. Lucia number one goalkeeper. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He, he keeps a St. Lucia, so I have to see him some more. Um, William, the guy with him, what's his name? William Edward, William Edwards from Portmore. Don't William- look. Oh, oh, Portmore. Um, we have we have the manager all above you in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> oh, no, man. That's the man I thought. I'm sure I thought my thing, no, man. <laughs> People are going to come ask me every question about all above you. No? <laughs> but yeah, I'm not here to answer any questions about any contractual terms of Okwesa Chang. You have to deal with the execs about you, that. You don't ask me that. Don't ask for that. But we know to say a girl on the keeper them and a girl on and a girl on now. Who are the backup goalkeeper in the national senior team right now? Which club in play for? Isn't there how of you a former how of you player? Former how of you player. <laughs> Dave yourself, no man. Yeah man, Dewey and Miller. Even though you keep for how of you. Dewey and Miller. Hey, I'm all night. I which club him keep for? Oh, how of you, yes. How could I forget that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm all night on the keep one game still. What I know about one game. <laughs> but yeah, yeah he, I'm, all, I'm all night not, not at his best though. No, man, no, man. Him, him keep good. No, man. Listen, this is the first game. He was very instrumental because he was doing all the talking. That's what I love with him. You realize you realize right, him, him is the captain of the team when he's on the field. That is true. That is true. Yeah, so that gardens last season as well. Yeah, that's that's um that's his role, you know, and do the talking, the organizing, and all that. And people don't forget that this um is only 25 years old, you know. So goalkeepers like span really go a long way. Oh, um, I'm all right. Remember that too. Am I 25? Yeah. Check into it. No, I'm going to check it. I'm going to Google that one. I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all night. I can't 25, man. Because he name out the long time. Remember, I said, do good at high school for Walmart. So, you know, I think he win Manning Cup um, for Walmart. 
Mm. Fresh gas. I'm on 25, man. But look it, man. 27. In my 27. In my 28, man. 28. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm on 1993, man. <coughs> 28. Yeah, man. With 29 this year. Oh. But crap. that is good age for goalkeeper still. Yeah, and I'm prime, you know. I'm prime, you know. Just need to stay healthy. Remember, I said, so I have a bad injury at the end of last season, too. A broken finger? Yeah. Um, but, but, um, somebody saying that Amal Knight needs to improve his footwork when making saves. But he's a good distribution. Meaning that he's he good on, with him feet, but yeah. But he's one? a goalkeeper. Yes, I'm saying. You know, say, you know, say, you know, say the boy name is the Macy Murdy Free National Program. I'm telling you, I'm brother, you, tell you, man, you watch him on free kick to the man. I mean, I'm telling you, no, I'm telling you, no, right now. Yeah? Right now. Yeah, the man, free kick, the man, the ball went around the wall. It did, Ben. It's, it's a Roberto split. Carlos. It's a I'm Roberto. Telling the, listen, I, I, I said it earlier. There needs to be something in place because he has some challenges. I remember last season, he got like three red cards. Oh, and, uh, right. Whatever deficiencies he have, we have to find a way to get him in a system. Where he, because I, I can't see us going to 2026 and he's not our right back. True. We have to find but, a way to work on them young youth here. Check, check this out. Our uh, man's man. You see, because of how staple playing right now at the right back, that it's forcing the coach's hand right now for moves him in his around. And, because Staple is a good Staple kick. The ball good to you know. He scores some solid. Ball. <laughs> yeah. He's solid, man. And he whipping some squares too. Because Reed was on the, the end of a couple of them today. But, you know, we have to work on Reed still. And remember today we missed a penalty too, you know. You have to remember that yeah, too, you yeah, know. Um, what's, what's his name again? Lewis. Lewis, yeah. Timar Lewis. Timar, yeah. Um, poor penalty because the keeper move. Yeah, then, but you know, um, the referee, there's only certain things you can see without the introduction of video assistant and them thing there. So, the eye during the during the real time, it's harder for you to recognize that. The linesman will blame for that still, but regardless, we came away with the three points thanks to the 65th minute substitute of a 17 year old. <laughs> Come save the day and change the game. You know, notice when the man go up and when they move him over to the left side, it, it was so easy for him to walk past the, the Tivoli Garden defender them with pure skills. May I say, hold on, is this a teenager going so out there against the big man them and make it look so easy? Yeah, but and, let me tell you, you know, Dre, if he had if he had not scored that free kick, you would have been blamed for them not getting the point out. Can you get ahead of him if he scored header, the header? The header. Yeah, him, him, him make himself available in a great position, a striker's instinct position, right? That's against the goalkeeper. And him, him, him barely, him barely edit. And then him. the next one, you see the deeper kick where him take, uh, pan him take like a half volley. Yeah. And he hit the bar. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, he might be like Chilwell. Yeah. You, you know yeah. who he reminds me of? No, man. Reese James. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chill when yeah, you like have a reach. Yeah, chill have the dark, them man. Chill have the in, inside the box more than body. No, you remind me, in body is like a reach. Body type, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. man. Um, so like him now, like him now, uh, man is man now. We don't want him to focus on him in, in, in body, in muscles and stuff. No, but listen, defensive. I think he 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 has a way. He can be rushing his tackles. I think that is what he needs to work on, especially when he's playing against skillful players. Um, and he's still young. So he, my position is that these guys should be kept somewhere where they are getting certain training First, uh, yeah. Re yeah, regularly in preparation for 2026. What are we going to do? I mean, he, he's probably going to leave Jamaica anyways. I suspect that before so the year ends. He, yeah, he's before probably going to leave. Yeah. That. I mean, he's going to leave Jamaica. Hope we're going to go to the, ML, to the, to the, to the college system right now. I mean, I think you can go to the college system. Isn't that everybody who go to the college system oh, feels? I think you can go to the college system and make it. In career, I go like this. 
Can't really say that and see. <laughs> but no, if you look on it, if you look on most of them, three quarter hour no, talented, talented youth, them don't. Jay, you know this already. Me, me is an advocate for education. If a youth want to go to college, bro, can guess what? Um, like some people, I think, was it Andy Williams? I don't remember. He said something. He said, listen, he said he realized that, listen, you can finish college when you're 50. Mm -hmm. You can't play football when you're 50. No. So some persons decide to play football <coughs> first and then do college afterwards. The the is, no, the question is, will you be able to find the resources to do it, do college? But if a youth want to go to school, I mean, I don't know his personal situation. We're not going to fight him for that because he can still go to school and complete um, and be a, a good footballer, I think, if he really wants to. A man say, M10, come jump on, on the program, man. Tell big idiot <laughs> to retract the statement about Zemini. Yeah, man. I mean, the man know what the... Listen. All right. I'll give you an example. Um, I, I, I doubt there is a, a forward in schoolboy football in his age group that can dominate him. I'm, I'm going to put all busy in that. Yeah. How was it? Um, I know I said the game went to penalties, but I never see it. Um, was it then till JC play? Yeah. Um, how was it in that game? Because me, yes, I'm worse game that, but it, it was coming from not somebody who is a mutual commenter. No, man, man, listen, he has not had a bad game. The thing is that how JC plays him, it depends on, you see, here's the thing people expect him to. To go up and go up and go up. You understand what I mean? Always I go up the flank, up the flank. But when you're mm -hmm. playing against Gary Mills and certain teams, you have to focus mm -hmm. on your defensive duties. Well, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes a man look on the game, you know, understand that a coach can give you different roles. You're playing against a better team, you're gonna sit back more. See, because you don't see him a bum up the line and thing, but all of the games he got up, he got opportunities because he still got in the box. He might have yeah, a yeah. in one of the games. Yeah, I miss, I miss. I miss. same game till game. See him didn't I think he's he's him heading, he's very good at defensive heading. And the free kick nearly scored too. He, he that he kicked. Same him still yeah. had an impact in the game. Good, yeah, free, good kick. free kick again. Yeah. So I don't know. Pray, so. so many times the people them them don't I I don't, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I have not seen him play a game where I can say boy, him look terrible. Here comes one of them and now. See, uh, see, 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 <laughs> see, see your camera look good. <laughs> uh, uh, about my camera. Yeah, my new camera. <laughs> see my old camera, man. The lab up. Yeah, see Dre saying that um he missed about four clear chances in the Dintel match. Okay, Come probably on. that's why people didn't say that then. Pass yeah, the I am saying for you to be playing wing back and you get the most opportunities for your team. Chances. What that's does that, that, that say about you? It's a big feat. That means you must be one of the better players on the field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As we say, you look at it. You have to look at it in a balanced way. The fact that he was keeping it because at no point did Dintel break down JC on the side he was defending, and he was still able. He was still able to get into the Dintel penalty spot. Remember, one of Dintel better players is their left back. What is his name? Henry. Uh Henry. What is the left back for Dean Tillman? Very good player. I don't remember. In, in he was the one that they said that um the, the Manning's player Rodney could not get around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that so that speaks volumes. We get what you said then, uh, Manning's man. If if Ziminez was able to get another position, they were able to create or get chances or goal scoring opportunities, playing as a right back and be um up in a them spot there, then that means that that left back. He was uh, more dominant than that left back on face and against each other. One of the better left back in the league. He, yeah, he the I get him. Garvey Maceo, I think two of the better left. So, so for him to be able to do that, not only that, on the defensive end, Dintil never created the chances. I created chances from his side of the field, and they are a good team. Cici, mm -hmm. what say you? <coughs> well. <laughs> They are taking the stream on Massey. I say, of course, a chung and lady in white um, get moves, right? Yeah. We don't want to ask you a question, man, is man, because we think a lot of person address that question. All right, say, of course, a chung, Ghana, Denmark. 
in a club named Esberg. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, JD in White Ghana, USL, Phoenix Rising. Phoenix Rising, love Jamaican ball, I stay with. I'm a three or four now. Yep. Mm -hmm. I want to leave recently. But what I want to know, man, is, man, because I hear a lot of persons speaking and saying play kids, for, for example, tomorrow or for the rest of the campaign going forward, right? And I'm, or it is not, it is, I would say, you know, expensive to, to carry the English based players in to play the rest of the tour, rest of the qualifiers, or even to get them to come and play um, <clears throat> Gold, Cup, Gold Cup and those things. So, my, my question is this, man, is man, are we trying to get our players who are locally developed into Europe? And if so, if we are doing that, if we now get 30 local developed players into Europe, are we not going to use those players to play um, for the national program because it's going to be too expensive to bring those players to play um, the Gold Cup and such other tournaments? Yeah, but CC, who having that? When I said that, who is having that conversation? All right, I was saying the, the conversation based on this. All right, there's two things. One thing where the, the, the president was saying that <clears throat> based on when he was talking about the window and for the rest of the games and oh, it is probably too expensive to call the players to come and play depending on how the window had turned out. This was prior to us kicking a ball. <laughs> and, and, and next thing I'm saying that based on how I've seen many World Cup cycles go where we don't call the certain players until we are in a World Cup cycle. So that is why I'm asking it. Is it a basis of cost or is it a basis of because if we get 30 of our local developed players in Europe and we we the cost argument gone out the door all right so fo no so follow me I here's what I I can only give my opinion um respect Boris for the comment and um Stone Love said something let me just get up this I'm gonna come to you he says um there is not enough games played in college system if you really want to be a pro and I think he was going back to what we were saying about um, a co um Zemini Zemini College. Move yeah. to let me get let me get you CC. CC. So watch this. Uh, all right, I said it earlier, right? That at this point, um, at this point, like the the league has to keep recycling players. How about you have to find somebody, you know? So they use they use Timar Lewis Lewis today. Remember, they also had Krista J. Daly, who is not there. They had Ajani Talbot. But they have a, they, they got Breckenridge coming in. So mm -hmm. the truth is, um, they had Lovell Palmer last season. You don't see him this season. So Daya teams, came in. Yeah, so teams keep recycling and getting players in. You want the Aquasa chunk to go away, but you're going to have other players coming through. There are many players in the schoolboy league that we need to get them in and start working on them. So the more players go away, is the more players come out of the schoolboy that going to continue um, their development once we have something to play. So we're going to the Nations League. If you're going to the Nations League and say, um, I don't know whoever is the coach. So we, we, we're carrying a 23-man squad, right? You can make a decision. You can say, all right, watch this. Um, who is available? What if some of the players say, boy, we don't, we don't necessarily want to come and play for this. That's fine. If all the players are available, right, then you can look and say, listen, all right, all of you are available. We don't need all of you to win the Nations League. If you do proper scouting, you can know sometimes, like, what amount of quality would I need to win the Nations League against Cayman? Do we need to really get Leon Bailey, uh, Mikel Antonio, East and Pinock to beat Cayman Islands. But, but, but man is man. Example, you understand me? So do you but, necessarily... Um, as, I, I would think that that is one way of, of looking at it. But man is man, we're not going to play in the, in the, in the, um, the Nations League with, the, with the, 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 the lesser quality teams. We are going to be in, the, in Mexico, USA now. Because we qualified for the... For the, for the, for the, 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 the it, I would call it, they have a tier, tier one, tier two nation league type of team. So you have to qualify for the top one, I think. Yeah, go ahead, Dre, because we have Coach Boris Johnson online. He's going to say something, I think, in relation to this, and then we can come back to the discussion. All right? All right, CC. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. All right. Coach Johnson, you're, on, you're live. Go ahead. Yeah, let me say a, a pleasant good night to the, the panel and uh, to all the listeners out, out, out there in the world. Um, I understand what, what the, the question is trying to ask. And I think I just sent you the same question. I think he's trying to figure out when is it we are going to implement these young players into the national system. And uh, I'm, I'm sitting here with much concern as him because he, he's coming from a previous discussion in terms of what we do within six months' time or what we'll do within a couple of years' time leading up to the next World Cup qualifier. Now, it, 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 it's very important we look at those windows. I mean, if we're going to look at the Nation Cup, Mark, I don't understand. I don't, I don't really understand if they change the system or the Nation Cup is being played compared uh, with the Gold Cup or the Shell Cup itself. You see, but if I'm saying if, if this is a question where those in terms of competitions are not used in terms of qualification, then I, I think it's time we implement the, 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 these young talents because understand what happened over the years and what's going to happen. I mean, here we see Chang going off to Denmark, but what, what database are we going to create to say we know where he is, we know what he's doing, and we're keeping, we, are, we are keeping track of these players? And you see, over the years, this is the problem we have. We lost a lot of good players because the system hasn't put in place in terms of tracking the players, see what they're doing, see what's going on. You see, the question that he's asking is very important. I've been saying this before we even play the Mexico game based on what basically you could see will transpire from the World Cup qualifier. Now, understand the situation what happened. We have, we have a senior team that appearing, but let's go back to what happened in terms of the youth. There's no youth program preparing underneath the, the senior team. And, and if you should touch base with the technical committee from the JFF, they will tell you no. Because what? They are sitting now waiting to probably start in February for something that will up, happen in July. So I'm saying I don't want to go back to 98 because the game has changed so much. There's a lot revolve around the game since then. But if you look at what most of the top country does, and this is where we, 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 we are making the big comparison. When you look at soccer, playing in the, in, the, in the EPL, playing for England at the age years, if you go back and track the old development, you realize that probably at 17 or 18 years old, soccer would have probably been in an England youth setup coming through the ranks. So the, the problem we're having, yeah, we have good players, but understand what happened in terms of the transitions of these players between the national program. You see, and you can go back way in time. We had two youth teams qualify for the World Cup, but to present day to day, none of those kids are basically involved in the game no more. Or where they play, nobody knows. You see, so what I'm saying, it's very important. While these young players now are coming on the market, we have a lot of time and don't let us fool ourselves to sit to say, look, we have the Nation Cup coming up in six months' time. We have this the World Cup qualifier a couple of years' time. If we're not going to implement these young talents now to say, look, start rubbing shoulders with a Leon Bailey, start rubbing shoulders with a Michael and Tony. Two things cannot manage, man. They will be sit wondering why they're not being called. And two, at some point in time, they may lose interest. You see, yeah. and while losing interest, you might also lose the player, the fact that he's not capped. So we have to be careful what we're doing. You see, we have to be careful what we're doing. This is the problem that we face. I said it from day one and I will say it before. I don't see why we have a national senior program in training without under-20s and under-23 players in terms of they may not form the core of the senior program, but at least they are part of the setting and knowing what's happening from now. So when they get to that level, at least they already know. Plus, they can get back down to their level in terms of the under-20s and the under-23. You see? 
Yeah. We are taking too much time and we are waiting for, as, 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 as the panel say, for competition to start preparing. And then when we don't qualify for this, we don't qualify for that. We have the debate over and over. Let's make use of the time while we have the time. Let's start to implement these kids into the forefront. Let's let them let, let them prove prove the, the, the situation wrong. That that that's what I'm saying. At least they have enough time to make up for it. Yeah. You see, but don't have them out in the cold, and then two years time we lose track of them. Two years time they lose interest, and then we don't know where to go in terms of point B. Yeah. All right. So let me ask, what what would you do, Dre? And then I'm going to ask unseen the same question. Just hold on, Coach Barris. What 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 would you do at this point? Nations League is coming up in six months. Do you, do you, do you, do you call back the, the same squad you had for the World Cup campaign? Do you integrate younger players? Do you go all younger players? Or, or, or first, how would you go about it? First, let's look at the bigger, look at the bigger pictures, man. All right, Boris, hold on a sec. I mean, I'm going to let Dre respond and then I'll come back to you. You may not be able to hear him, right? So just hold on. Okay. Go, go ahead, go ahead, Dre. So first, you know, JFF going to cry finance, 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 because it takes finance to get these teams in camp and these players in camp at the same time. So first of all, that's what I'm going to cry about. But in my case, me would have said, you take the cream of the crap of the 17 year olds that's under 20 in the Premier League teams and you bring them together and you play friendly games against your neighboring Caribbean communities just to keep them sharp and ready. And then when they reach uh, under 23, coming on to the uh, um, Olympic qualifying, that's coming up before nations, right? That's going to start. So either way, but when that comes, you have that same under 20 group that you have, keep moving up the ladder and moving up the ranks. But JFF, we know they're going to cry finance. When the big games come now, the FIFA dates and the FIFA games, then you pick the best of those under 20, under 23, and you integrate one or two of them or even three of them if, if you believe that three of them um, is quality to play in the senior team. And you bring them into the senior team just to have them, give them the experience. If they're that talented to push one of the senior regular starters for a position, then so be it. That player earned that position or earned that spot. But you got to get them together in camp, playing a few friendlies against like, because of finances, you're not going to be able to travel them or invite bigger teams. But it's to get the core and get them together, um, building them up, going into Olympic and into graduating into the senior team. But we know why they're going to cry. Finance, finance. Yeah. All right. So, here, Bar so what, what Dre is saying, Boris, is that the, the, the ideally... It would be to get these players in while you have some of those more senior pros who have been around. The problem, though, is that you know what the issue is: money, 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 money. That's what that's what Dre is saying. There's going to be a cry about we don't have the money to do this. We don't have the money to do that. So, so but, but, go but ahead. What I'm saying, man, is man. While while his philosophy is good, getting them together as a as a under twenty group or an under twenty three group. I'm saying, why, why, while getting them as an under 23 group or under 20 group, why they can't be incorporated into the national squad? If you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Why, why, why they can't be incorporated into the national program? So, okay, instead of having them come by themselves, bring them in with the senior program. The senior people is only 23 people. So if you bring 23 seniors and 23 youths, that's basically 46 players. If, 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 if the JFF is going to sit and say, look, we can't feed 43 players, I, I, I'm telling you they're lying. Because if you, if you go back to what used to happen back in the days, it's, it's the same thing used to happen. This, this is how Nandi Law, the Fabian Davis, the Gregory Messam, the Christopher does. This is how they made a transition because most of the time we camp as youth players, we were basically camping out with the senior team. You see? But I'm saying if 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 you go out them separated, 
yeah, it will help the situation. But I'm saying understand the senior level. Introduce them to the senior level, the pace of the game, the rigorous of the game, the quick thinking of the game, the, 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 the vision, the intelligence of the game. Introduce them to that very early with the senior program. Have them be a part of that very early. It's not have them be a... You see, this is the problem management. It's like, it's like you're preparing for CONCACAF at CONCACAF level. How are you going to get out of CONCACAF if you're not a step above or two step above? You see, so I'm saying, yeah, we can carry them in as 20s. We can carry them in under the 23. But I'm saying, why can't they... Why can't 15 of them be incorporated into the same... Seen a camp that you are going to have and increase it to 30 players. Okay. That's the thing I'm saying. Oh. That's the thing I'm saying. All have right. them start rubbing shoulders with, with, it. All right. with that so, pace of the game. Yeah, let me, all right. So, all right, Coach Bar, CC, um, what, what, say, what would you do? How would you implement a plan? Um, we heard what Dre said. Um, we heard what um, Boris Johnson said. What I mean, the same question he asked me, what would you do um, in six months' time when the Nations League, if we're going to play in that part of it, what, how would you go about it? Why right. I would, Why? I would, yes. uh, yes. I would. Well, when I say before CC. Answer, before CC answer, let me ask you this. What bearing does the, 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 the Nation Cup have on the national program in terms of other competition? It qualifies you for the Gold Cup. It also it helps with your ranking because it is your ranking and your under-20 uh -huh. performance that determines if you play in the under-23 qualifiers for the Olympics. That, that, that's good, good. That's why, I, that's why I asked you the question. You see what you said a while ago? It's based on the ranking. And what happened allows you to play in the under-23 competition. Right. So you see what's going to happen. If we do qualify for the under-23 Without these players being involved, what's going to happen? Now we have to start the preparation again for these under 23. Have them go there and qualify themselves. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 don't, see, I don't see no reason why, based on the group we're going to play in, in the Nation Cup, why these same young talent can't get me out. I know it's a big risk factor, but this is where we're having the problem. I coach at the Premier League level and I had the same problem. When, I, when, I, when I'm saying, look, I'm going, I'm going to gamble, and I'm going to play 17-year-old and 18-year-old. People tell me it couldn't work. And when it works, they tell you something else. Now, at some point in time, we have to decide where is it we're going to draw the line and take the risk factor. All right, and I'm saying I, 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 I don't see anything wrong with playing these kids at the level okay. that, that, that you guys are talking about. All right, let me hear from CC. All right, CC, go ahead now with your response. Yeah, what I think I would do is 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 to <clears throat> complement the young players with the 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 some of the senior players and keep some of the vets. But as in, for example, I think some players I would just um, move on from because if you really look at it, management, the the core players, as some persons would say. Have been playing for the past three, four years together, three years together. And then persons are, are talking about chemistry. And I'm saying if these players are playing together for a period of time, and a majority, some of the time I saw six or seven of them on six of them on the field, and you can't get a, a decent chemistry going, then I think I would move on from some of them and try to get um some of the young players incorporated in the team with some of the more experienced players. Experience in playing for Jamaica and experience in terms of the level that they're playing at. So I would just move C on from C C C C um when you say young players, what age and yeah, how do yeah. you know if they're ready? Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, that's the thing. They're going age, to think they want you to tell me what age is young and what <clears throat> age is old. What age what age is young? Yeah, what age is old. J J Dre when I'm, when I'm, when I'm I say player, young, I'm asking I'm about talking. when you say the old players, senior players, like what who you who you going to cut off? Is it based on age or quality? You have age and quality. That are the two things right, right now. Age and quality. Because you have persons who in, are in the team right now who are young, who played umpteen tough minutes 
and you're not seeing the production. Ooh. So you never have to fight for them place. Okay. <laughs> So, Bannings, man, we can't, but not, if you want me to call in the other. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. But I'm, I, <laughs> I'm just I, saying that. Yes, I'm wondering when, when we say young, you know, that's what Jay's question is important. What, right. what, I understand what, the question what do you mean? Now. What is the age? I'm I'm talking, for example, like, for example, like an Akosa Chung, right? Bringing in Akosa Chung in the center. Yes, man. Let, let, hold, let, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, Coach Barris. Let him finish his point because he's making a point. I don't want him to lose his stuff. Yeah. So I'm saying that bringing like a player like Akwasa Chung in the team, bringing in like a player like um, Zimini, certain players, it's not even say they're old enough, but I'm just saying in terms of the quality that they are producing right now, it's better to move on from them and go, and go to some of these younger players that are up and coming. Sometimes we might say they're not ready as yet. What, what about Richard from a 16-year-old um, forward? I think do Richard. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't something there as yet. I wouldn't bring him in the team as yet. Probably the next two years. I wouldn't bring him in the team as yet. But like as so in that a you're working, you're working in a particular age group then? I work, I'm working in a particular age group, like a, between like a 19 to 23 age range. So CC, you're contradicting yourself because what if a player is elite and... Uh, yeah. How do you measure them? Because no. how do you decide that 19 to 23 and then with by 16? So that would make him about 18. And what if at 17 in playing at a top level? No, like I would I would bring him in. I'm not saying I'm I'm not I'm saying to you 19 to 23 is the starting point. If I'm get you're not doing it based on age though, CC. You're doing it based on quality. That's no, what Trey's trying to say to you, you know. All right, based on but based on age as well. Because, because listen why I say age management. Age and quality is important. Because you want age in terms of the period of time that they have to play together. And then you want quality in terms of what is what they're going to produce on the pitch. But the age is important because you get them together for a longer period. That's why I'm saying that the age part of it is important. You can't, and then the next thing about it, you can't put a bunch of 17-year-olds on the field. Even if they're talented. Why? You can't, you can't. No, it's not going to work out. Man, it's why? 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 I'm just it's going to hurt the wrong. The, the, the big, the older players that they play against have more experience and more guile and more know how, how to in terms of game. And they might hurt even some of these younger players because they have never reached play that, that level before. So you kind of have to be protecting them. That's why I see when time a club plays a young player week in, week out. Most of these young players that plays week in, week out. After a certain age, they fade out because they have played too much football. They don't manage them properly. So that's why I was saying that it's just a balance. We have to find the balance in terms of integrating them in the, into the team. Right. Because look, look at this balance, man. Mm. You have two veteran defenders in the back line. You have two veteran <coughs> midfielders. And you have two veteran um, striker, And you have a veteran goalkeeper. That's like seven players. And then you build, it, build up the team with elite younger players. Yeah, but what if your goalkeeper is a 17-year-old who is six feet tall, who is better than the 30-year-old? Who do you keep? Who do I keep? I keep both of them. No, who going who to play in the team? Who going to play in the team? Experience or quality? That is the way you go now, man. I play the, the experience in certain oh, games and quality. I play the quality. I play the younger quality keeper in certain games, but I'm keeping around the older keeper. Okay, all right. Eventually, all right. eventually the, the younger keeper will host him. Yeah, but if I what I'm saying to you is that if Akwasa Chang is the best of all our forwards, why do I say bench him so I can play a forward just because the forward is more experienced? Well, that's the thing, management. When he gets his five minute of fame. You must come out there, come Here's what I'm asking you, CC. So why I can't start? Why why he has to get five minutes if he's no, the best quality I'm, one? But I say, oh, you're gonna determine his quality for a country level. That that's the thing, you know. You're determining his quality. Him. By playing him. No, not, but not by starting him, not by why? throwing him into the lines. Then All right. you know what is funny, CC. What you're saying is a lot of the, the clubs, a lot of the clubs. Even we're talking about club football. Yeah. They bring Arsenal started soccer. 
But when he started, they have Saka, look around. But look around, Saka. No, the point I'm making, though, is that if you have a player in your team, Harborview had all the players but started across a chunk. Yeah, because but but it's more mati- all right for Harborview, Ar- it's more feasible start to to, to start an across a chunk because than than an older player. Let me hear. Let me hear Coach Boris have to say. Then I'll come back and hear from uh, unseen. Go ahead, Coach Boris. I think. I think. I think. I think one of the thing. One of the thing that CC Sports is not understanding. We are. We have a tendency, management, of looking at age. Now, I think. I think one of the thing that's one of the biggest mistake we are making in terms of youth football and youth development. If you look at what Europe and the rest of the world is doing, instead of looking at age, they are looking at the level of play in terms of the player. You see the difference? Yeah. And and this is this is where this is one of the problem I think we have. This is one of the biggest problem I think we have in Jamaica. We spend time looking at the age of the kid instead of looking at the level of play and where the kid at in terms of the game. You see. Understand, understand. If we're gonna sit and look at the age and not looking at the level of play, then what will happen? We will never have a good 17-year-old like we did with Alan Skillcall playing for Jamaica. We'll never have a good 15-year-old that can play at that level that we play because we spend more time looking at the age and not looking at the level of play. And this is what is killing most of the, 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 the youth players in terms of development. If 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 I if I see I take, remember Dwayne Atkinson when they were 14 years old. We are taking them to Cayman Islands to play in a youth 15 tournament. And we have 12 year olds and 13 year olds. That was good enough to play at that level. You see what happened? Full time, we move away from the age. Stop paying emphasis on the age. Let's go back to the situation where we look at the level of play. Walter Boyd represented Jamaica when he was in high school. Now, why did he do that? Not because he was a young player, but at the time his level of play, he could play in the senior team. You see what you see the difference? So that, that's one of the biggest problems we're facing. We spend time looking at the age, confusing yeah. the age with the level of play. So therefore, we're gonna wait till the kid now get to 23, where he's older, he had more experience. But he could have been in a program that he, he already had the level to play at that program and playing at that program, gaining more experience and, and gaining the pace of the game because the game is played at more quicker speed there. Yes. So you see what happened. We, we need, I have the same problem when I came to the States. I work with youth seven players that their level of play was automatically like a youth 10. And when I tell people, look, let's play these youth seven with the ten, they tell me, no, no, it's not possible. But when we practice together, they realize the youth seven, based on their level of play, could easily play with the youth ten. So you see what happened. And this, this is where this is where I find the biggest problem. This is one of the biggest problem I have coaching in Jamaica. You see, if you go back. Way back in the days, you used, used, used to have a 13-year-old that plays Manning Cup, play Colts, and play Pepsi for his high school. Because of his level of play, we, we need to move away from the age. Don't pay attention to the age. Look at the kids in terms of their level of play, in terms of the game, and use that to assess them. If they are good if enough, keep on look, if they are good if enough, they are old enough. Look, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If their level of play is at the national standard, then why not play them there? Why? We're not going to play them because they're 15 and 16? All right. All right, Coach Boris, because Unseen, I mean, we're going to hear what Unseen, what, what, what is your take on this? All right. So the first, um, sitting and listening, the first one I think, you know, is, is I don't agree with is the um, JFF don't have any money, right? Because no... The, 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 the taking players from overseas is more expensive than using, um, you know, getting a course set of players from Jamaica or, you know, nearby Jamaica who are playing and put them together, which is more cheaper than going over by England 
and building a core with England-based players. I'm not saying it is wrong to, to, to use English-based players, but our core have to be, you know, with our economical structure, which, is, which, 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 which would be more easier for us to get these players, you know, to, 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 to play. And also, and team, real yes? quick, what we're saying is housing them at the same time, have them 43, 46 players along with the 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 senior team and housing uh under 23 under 20 group with them at the same time for mix them in together so that's why i said finance is going to be a big problem with that it's yeah, not about either or either right but 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 that's a point J that he was making yeah yeah i understand that you have a point there but jeff if need to go and find the money that's the way forward they've been crying that's, that you don't have that's, no idea. that's the way forward them i go get the money in Africa generate the money, that's the way forward. It takes money to win. <laughs> you understand me? And you, you, you can't cheat the system. We are trying to cheat the system. That's why we can't qualify for our World Cup. Right? We're building, we're trying to build from top. And there's no um we call it foundation. But if but even so unseen, I can name seven R8 players. That played multiple games in in the World Cup qualifiers that have been playing from 2017, 18, and probably before too, and them still look like they're not ready because they're not, they're not improved. What what I'm saying, though, which is the point I'm making, it is not the age that is the issue; it is the quality. quality the issue. Right? I I what I would do is this. All right. Um. Let's look at the quality is 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 yemen is better than alvas powell maybe not right no 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 maybe no, not, maybe not right maybe not however based on what i want to achieve in 2026 where does the greatest potential lie right now Jimenez. with him not that not that right now he may not be better than alvas right now but by 20, if, I work, if I work with Zeminis and Alvas Powell, the ceiling for Zeminis is way higher. Mm -hmm. Right. So who, more do potential. I, who do I invest the money in? Zeminis. Zeminis. The talent. He, with the talent. I'd rather it be, right because one, yeah, one going to be above. One, definitely. One is going to be above the other. But who, with, in four years' time, who will I be able to get the most out of? But I tell you, man is money. If you really look into it, now, all right. Let me tell you what, what, what I think are the problem. No, but it finished today now, but... Oh, go, on, go, to no, man, go ahead and finish up. Yeah, so in terms of the young players that we have now, um, first, let me say this. I think experience is very overrated. You understand? I think talent and, and quality is what we should look for. Um, experience works in, 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 in times where, like, like for example... The, the, the game against Mexico when we put on Powell, I think Marapa could have done a better job in for that nine minutes. So that experience that you understand me, those sticky situations, they need experience. But how much game all of us play for Jamaica? I don't know. Yeah. All of us have played for Jamaica about six, seven years now, in a brother. Yeah. So they with experience gone out the door, they saw all of us are experienced man nice side. Yeah, but more up more experience than him in any in level. In terms of, of what? Any level in terms, of football. In terms of football overall. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Let me give you our next. Sorry, let me give you our next good one. Because Coach Barry said that then we're gonna come back to you and then so you can end and we, we continue. All right. So right now I have a Bobby Reed who plays out on the flank. I have I have Duncan McKenzie. I have Aquasa Chang. I have the little one from Waterhouse that just went away, um, Shaquille Bradford. Mm. I have Krista J. Daly, who just went away. I have Devante Campbell. You know who I'm selecting? Any one of those over Bobby Reed. Not that Bobby Reed is not better than them. But yeah, by the time I get to 2026, Bobby Reed is going to be 33. Who True. has the highest ceiling? You, you understand me, Dre? But there yeah. may be. Yeah. If, so I work with these four guys. <laughs> But I may be going to the Gold Cup, and I know that if I'm going there to win the Gold Cup, I may need, like I said, the experience of Bobby Reed. 
as an example. I'm just giving an example, right? So I said, listen, I'm going to start the younger player. But I'm going to have him training with Bobby Reed because that's going to make him better. Right. But I am starting the youngster. And then if the youngster is feeling, I have to lean on experience. But i rather give the youngsters the, 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 because I'm building for 2026. I think, listen, one of the things I learned is that you can't win. KC is a master at this. KC knows that they can't win everything. But they win the races that give the most points. Mm -hmm. And they win champs. So they, they, they strategically say, listen, we need to win the medley. We need to win the relays. All we need is a fourth place in all of the 100 meters. Damn it, there it is. Damn it, you, you understand me? You have to pick your poison. Jamaica I try to win Nations League, I try to win Gold Cup, I try to win, we, we're trying to win everything. And if you try to win all, you lose all. <laughs> Here with all, lose them board. You, you understand yeah. me, I said, Dre? Yeah, somebody tell yep. me you have to give up. Yeah. You have to give up one thing and I'm win the bigger start. prize. And I think that is what we need to look at. Do we really want to win the Gold Cup or do we want to? Build that team out of the World Cup to qualify for the World Cup. So I, I, I think that's what we have to look at. Is it about winning the Nation League or get increasing the ranking? Even if we come up, come fourth, that's a good place. But at least we have a team now that when we go to the World Cup, we can go back to the final. All right, and, and set some targets like that. And and this whole thing like dismiss the youngsters, like Devante Campbell. Get called to go Peru. Don't get play. Me don't want to hear say no, you're not going to get called again until 2023. You don't want to do that with the youngsters. No, man, is enough and not even youngsters alone. Remember, I can tell you that. I think it's Mackie Nuff or McClear or one of those guys. Got called at 22 years old. Never got called until he was 32. So why yeah. call a man when he's 21, 22? And not yes. call him back for 10 years. Don't oh, call him again. Yeah. I want to tell you this, I just found out that there's an ex-German, a guy, a, a guy, a Jamaican playing, a teenager who was at Carnival College. Oh, geez, forgot his name. That is in Germany playing. Uh, Powell? Powell, yeah. Uh, Germany or, or, or England? Germany, he's in Germany. Because he's at the same club, I think, um, where Matthew Baker is gone to. Oh, he moved from England. How many people know that? I know he was in England first, and I don't know him. From Cornwall College. How many people know that? I don't know. I am sure I break it, man. <laughs> but no, this is not something new. And I like no, it. No, a long time something. You know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. From 2019. So so that go to Boris point too. Um, where do we keep in contact with a database of these players who's over there performing? Yeah. Huh? Coach Boris. Coach Coach Boris, is still there? Yeah, yeah, but I'm still Yeah, man. All right, so go ahead because I know you have been on long and then you can you can close off. Yeah, Paul. Go no, ahead. I'm saying you, you, you come back to the fact I'm saying. Uh it is very important we create a database. Because you are talking about players in Germany. They are they are young teenagers, Jamaican players playing in Serbia. I don't even know that. <laughs> Yeah, they are good that. Jamaican players playing in Serbia. And that was the reason I'm sitting to see what we're going to do in terms of the 17s, the 20s, and the 23. You see, full time we stop, let us stop paying attention to the age, as I said. Look at the level of play. See how best we can get these youngsters into the, 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 the national setup, start working with them, and, and therefore bring them to the forefront. The, the Nation Cup that everybody's making excitement about, if you should sit right now and look who will participate in the Nation Cup, don't tell me that these kids can't nominate in terms of that. If we start preparing these kids early, then I guarantee you the Nation Cup won't, won't be the problem. The Gold Cup won't be the problem. The World Cup qualifier don't, won't be the problem. But you see, this, this is the problem we have. This is the problem we have. We're not sitting and looking what happened over the past and not trying to fix it going forward. So why you find we keep on having the same situation over and over? You see? Because there's, there's no database to track the players, one. 
Two, when you have a player that you call at an early age, you don't call him back. <laughs> he, he, there's no transition. I'm telling you, there's no transition. How much? Let, let's, let me ask you the simple question. How much of the players that played in the last U20s that was in IMG is, is anywhere near the national setup right now? How even, how even anybody know where are these players? Probably only Atkinson, if, if, if you don't mind, Shop. Probably Dwayne Atkinson is the only player we can remember. So you see what's happening. We are losing quality players, young players, good young players, because we are busy focusing on their age and not looking at their level of play. You see, and, and, and we are not willing to say, look, let's bring them to the forefront. Now, it's easier you bring them to the forefront. If, 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 if these players come to the national setup and doesn't look like what it is to stay there and maintain their position there. They can always go back to the 23s. They can always go back to the 20s. Now, when you take them at 25, they can't fit in no more. Where are they gonna go? So you see, we, we, we need to sit and look at, at, at most of these things in terms of how we develop the football, always important is the development. Start tracking the players. I hear, I hear Coach CC. Uh, what his name on scene talk about in terms of strength and condition. Now you guys sitting comparing players in terms of the body size and all that. That is basically a part of, 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 of the physical fitness in terms of the football. You have to do strength work. You see, my man, I told you before and I'll tell you again. I, I travel the world and I have done the analysis. We can beat anybody at football or soccer, whatever you want to call it, up to age 15. We can tear them apart. And you can go back to the, to the days of Davidon, when he take those under 14 all over the world, beat Argentina, beat this, beat that. We are capable of doing that. But what I'm saying to you, I've spoken to coaches in England day in, day out, coaches in Europe. We are ahead in terms of where they are at, at, at the youth level. The problem we have, we need to put proper system in place and, and go about what we are doing seriously. That's all we need to do. All right. Understand, yeah. understand it takes it, it, it take sacrifice to start and it takes commitment to finish. Yeah. We have to sacrifice and get committed. Otherwise, we'll be singing the same tune over and over and over and over. Yeah, man. All right. Why if we can take U15 to dominate, U U12 to dominate the United States? People all over the world now is looking for U10 players. Where they come, Jamaica. U15, yeah. where they come, Jamaica, to participate in the tournament. Because they know the level of play. We are already way ahead in terms when you look at these kids in terms of and and foot coordination, we are way ahead. We just need to put proper system in place and be serious about what we're doing and have the transition of these kids moving between the age group. Yeah. So when they get to the national setting, we're not losing players and everybody's coming to the wrong. Yeah. All right. All right, Coach Boris. We need to start moving them, move them also with the coaches. Yeah. All right, Coach Boris, just hold on a sec because we have some comments and stuff. So I, I don't know if you want to... Um, hang up now or you want to hold on, but ball a car. Um, I'll hang up, I'll hang up. Yeah, I'll man. Just... Yeah, man. All right. Respect and thanks again, as usual, for sharing <laughs> the wealth and knowledge. Yeah, man. What um, is man? Let me start with Peso first, right? Peso. With Bar most of the young players can't make the step up to the senior level. They're not good enough. We, listen, we have to make them good enough. If we can, if 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 Rene Simois came and took, they, he called them. When Rene Simos came to Jamaica, he said that there's a lot of diamond in the rough. The diamond will disappear, brother. Diamond's still there. We just need somebody who can fix up the... You understand me? Can can polish up the thing. Make it shine and... Clean it up and cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is what we need. Because the diamond can't done and gone. The diamond must still be here. If a number not come here, come take with all of the talent. 
we have to find them a way. Them there, Travis, but we now say all of them, you know, what them now get, we now say every, all of them for just push them in the senior team, man. We, we, there's diamonds in the rough, like you say, and the elite and the cream of the crop. Not just all of them are going to push them up and say, yeah, take that one in the senior team. Boss him. There you go. Yeah. Balakar. Balakar is saying that. We're not talking about the young baller from Trelawney where they, where they say overseas too. We're not talking about Crystal G daily. No overseas. We talked about Crystal G daily, you know. But if you have other information, Balakar, you share it with us. We, we don't know all I think. Are you a Trelawney man? Are you having stuff for the Trelawney man? Miss you, one maestro in the building. Bless up yourself. One view, Kingston 17, Jeremy and you. You know, I understand yeah. too, man is one. Man says, and if all interested in Jamaican football get better out of these opinions to JFF. What you all need to put press, pressure so they can do better. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Well, man is one. You know, man, look, man. You the yeah. inventor Evans. Are you the defensive midfielder? Um, you know that I think he was, wasn't he released from his club? In the MLS, in the USL, I see. A U, a USL. But you know, say, but you know what I'm not understanding, man, is, man. I wonder if these players watch an Angola country or watch Claude Makalele or these guys when they play. Because what, look at it like this. Jamaica, for example, Jamaica needs a defensive midfielder. And you're playing football. Then you know, most, because if you now becomes that defensive midfielder, that defensive cut that the team needs, like, I don't understand, like, this is your career, this is your choice of, of, of something in a career you know why is it that some of these players don't something there that's the motivation that they need the, the country need a defensive midfielder the next thing that i want is to say management as i saw Jeremy you um comment came up when Jeremy you um got his opportunity i was playing in the national program when they said i think when Jeremy was about 34 or so someone was saying that he's the best midfielder we have and i said that at that point in time we're in trouble not that not because he's not the best enough but it's just because at the age that he is if he's the best and we can't see the next that means the program is in trouble and lo and behold years now after germany was top played for the national team we still ended up right now or recycling number 10 we don't have no something there we, we still don't have a settled on a player of a, a germany caliber in terms of getting the ball forward right and then we, we come back now as i said from peter cargill them days we can't find back a defensive midfielder to fill that gap so everybody every I, I, what i'm saying what what i think what jay and i are saying is that we have had the player we have the talent we have not developed them remember when rene simo when Re, you know who rene simo is believe that was the best defensive midfielder in jamaica that he met and he was talking from the time when he was here up to the time the time that he left it was a player named evan taylor he was From highly rated, too. Yeah, highly rated by simois whatever systems we have as a national football federation we never did enough what we are saying cc it is impossible for me to believe that in 22 years we cannot we have not produced one defensive midfielder what we have not been able to do, in my opinion, is to take that talent and make the talent better. But but that is the thing. I can tell you this. Like I can uh, tell you this, man is man. Yeah. The players are talented. Jamaican players are talented. But most of them, right now, if you're looking even the team, 99% of them are average because as you put it, they are not being developed properly. So, so that, most is of what, that, is what, that is what we are saying. That is what they, ended up, saying. they end up at average. They end up average by the time you, you, you need them. They end up average. Because I think people don't understand that talent without hard work makes no sense. Yes, yeah, so that is what we are saying. In, no, listen. The, all right. Akwasa Chang. Akwasa Chang, as, as an example, let's use that because we're talking about him. Akwasa Chang has talent. I don't see evidence of him not wanting to work hard. What he needs is a proper system around him to get the best out of him. Busy Atkins need a good system around him. The, the, well, um, friend, Duncan McKenzie, Seminis. What we're gonna yeah. say? What I don't want to happen is, is seven years from now we sit down and we say, Seminis never did good. He is good. 
when we look at this youth, the youth is good. Is what what are we going to do? The mindset, manings. If you play with some of them local youth here, and you play football with some of the youth them, you see the mindset. As much as we probably not, you see, if you if you're outside looking in, but you see when you play with them, you realize that there's a certain mindset that you're saying to yourself, if that youth are going to punch child, him now go make it to them. Because of the mindset that is that is that is that is see see you think all right you know why you send bolt got, you, you think you think right why you send you send bolt had talent don't it yeah you think if you send bolt never had um glenn mills and say i say unseen was his sports was his coach you think he would still be the fastest man in the world well no, no, but unseen no, of course man big chuck sports you know I All right. Let me ask you this. You think if I were you saying bowl coach, he would still be the fastest man in the world? No. No, 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 no. he would not. You're not and it's coach. not because he doesn't have coach. the talent. He has the talent. But I would not be able to put the proper system around him to get the best out of him. All I'm saying is that what has happened with some of our young players is that Simo is came and he put a good system around them and look what happened. We need to put good system around the youths. Are we going to lose the next generation? Is the same problem with McGee? McGee never had a good system around him. But even so, man, I've tried to change all. What I'm saying to you, even the mindset of some of the players, that some of the players well, have. Well, I, think, I think we have Balakar calling in. Hold on. Balakar just wants to talk about your friend there. <laughs> Balakar. Yeah, man. What what say you? Oh, well, oh, yeah, then you what tell me so we, we not talk about the Chilani ball of them. Which Chilani ball over talk? Well, no man, well, I no man, no, you me call for it to talk to you know. <laughs> I find Dave wants it, but I want me to search with you anyway, there, you know. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, I search with you, man. Yeah. yeah. Politics in a yeah. Jamaica football. Yeah. No, I'm going to stop. You see me? I do it anyway to our friend on um, Instagram. I'm see him put up. You see him ball and they want to talk about it. That's wrong. You see me? Ah, uh, but you send me Christian J daily too. And he not put up here now. Because why is that you for you know no? And I chill on he come from. And I just hear you talk about Evan Taylor. One time. When, when time the Brazilian coach come here, fee, 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 and he see Evan Taylor. And if I have you, Evan Taylor, the big man. Reno, Reno. FC. Reno. No, him, you know, him, Dre, Dre only said that he's, he's a half of you player too. He never said that. Yeah. Yeah, no, just... <laughs> listen, you know. listen, man. Listen to me talk, man. All right, boss. When Evan Taylor go, a half of you, Evan Taylor done. <laughs> don't, don't, but that don't. man still right. The man play for half of you, man are wrong. The politics in a Jamaica football need to stop, man. No need to stop. You see me? I said, I go link him for a pass. I go from coaches <laughs> just to search for him. I go find him over here. So, Dre, you need to put up Christian J. Daly to find your page like when you put up Chang. You should turn ball at them too much. You see, in the end, I ball, I won't I ball at them in a Jimmy account for the push. Two ball at them play for the same team. Ball a car, ball a car. But it's not half of you why why Christa J gone is Holland, you know? He's a Holland. Farmer club. A Holland, I'm exactly. Farmer Club Holland, you know. Remember that he's owned by Holland, you know. Not half of you, you know. So not two year loan in the corner of you. Obviously, obviously, he left and it wasn't half of you doing it was Holland. Doing. You sure about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let me make it clear, Balaka. Remember, say I'm affiliated with all of you, no, no. So it's in my duty to highlight everything that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Balakar, hold on, Kadria talk. Why? Oh, he can't hear me. He can't hear me. You hearing Balakar? No, we come on five program. Oh, oh, all right. Make him go on talk. If we hear ball at the farm, more pleasant. Oh, will him be again? Oh, Devante? No, man. Alwyn Harvey? Yeah. 
is is twenty three. Uh, that the youth they look there. You they can't get caught up again in under twenty three. Too old, not sure. Yeah, man. Georgia. So which club is Crystal J. Crystal J. Daily at? Yeah. Which which club is Crystal J. Daily at? Well, you're born club of um Dominica, but when they make it, you know, um, a sovereign of the Gogo, you see me? All right, so so just go. All right. Yeah, for Paris, um, get yeah. the most answer, so all right. So, connection to that. Drago, explain to you and give it a scoop. So so listen up to what Drago say. All right. Yeah man. Yeah man. All right. Bless up, Balaka. All right. All right. Go ahead, Dre. All right, Balaka. I'm gonna make this. It's part of my duty as affiliation with Arborview Football Club. Whenever them send me some things, I have to repost it on my platform to inform the fans and supporters of the Jamaica Football Premier League and Aberview Football Club what the movements and what's going on. So if Krista J, Krista J Daly, former appearing club, but he's a former Aberview player, the move wasn't made through Aberview. It was made to his club, which is Holland FC down in Falmouth. Then. So I could not broadcast that and uh, highlighted that because that have nothing to do with Aberview. So you can't beat the Panda one day. <laughs> it have to do with a young baller from Jamaica, do you? Can produce. Well, you other people know. break the news, you know? Then break it before me, so it makes sense me run with it. Me can shout out other platforms and break it. Yes, oh, so that's what I can do. I break in news alone, Dre post. Then then I say I'm here, I break in news, boss. <laughs> so that's <laughs> fresh. All right. All right. Um Balakar, um, fresh god, Andre. See, um Christopher Wright is saying that we need to check out a player by the name of Rio Griffiths. You know him, Dre? Says that um and then he says, was um a Tottenham U team went to Olympic Leon in France and now he's gone back to England at Doncaster. He's 21 years old. The fresh god. No, I never hear about him still. Yeah. But uh, also, we get a message to you. Know, um, so, Okwesa Chang he moved to Denmark, right? So, yeah. keep in mind that the same owners of that club that he's at also owns a championship club and also owns um, a League One club in France. So keep that in mind too. Okay. Which is good because that means if he's impressive, he could move to League One. He, or, exactly. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 All right. We're, we're going, um, Ron Davis said, Man, is, this is utter madness. How can Juventus and my friends there are impressed? MLS impressed. England coach impressed. And JFF can't make a good team when they get them. What? Impressed with the players? It, listen. Being impressed with the players don't make us a good team. That is the problem. Man, man, please continue to highlight Jamaica football as a Jamaican. Yeah, I mean, with, with, there's a time and a space for everything. You understand? We try to highlight as much as possible. Because a lot of youths, the truth is, you know, and this is, I don't know, because there's a lot of, a lot of Jamaicans youth, youth overseas now. Like, it's Peter, tough for us to cover everybody, everybody, people. Everybody, yeah. Like, Peter, I mean, we have, what have we heard about Peter McGregor? Ronaldo Biggs. These two guys. The team, can't can't you don't oh, know. Man. I mean, it's hard to. I remember that some of these leagues, you can't. You don't know if they're playing with the senior team at the club. Or because sometimes they go there, you know, you know, they're in the academy team. And then you don't know when they're moving. So it's hard to follow all of the players that are connected. Because we have a whole setting of the USL, we have the players in England. You're always searching to find out as soon as you see African American playing in England, the first thing a Jamaican do is start check out them bio. If if you hear them name Mitchell or Brown or them kind of names, they say, Watch out, I want them being connected to Jamaica. So it's a lot of it's a lot of things. But one thing I know for us to go forward, we have to find a way of making the talented youths good footballers, good enough that they don't have to go on trials. They go into team. Like I am glad that Akwasa Chang is not going on trials. Yeah, me trial no man is man. 
she's signing a contract. You understand me? You understand me? Or you so go try as well one what I'm saying, what, what, Dre, what I'm saying to people is this. This is not the first time this has happened. So it, they are players. And then the first time it happened in Harborview, when Keith Kelly left, he didn't go on on trial. Luton Shelton, they're not going on a trial. Ricardo Garner not going on a trial. Claude so Davis not going on a trial. I'm, I'm giving you just half of you players alone that. We can go Sorry, to Harry McGee. Keep going. Yeah. Peter Lee Vasso. Keep going. They don't go. What I'm saying, this whole thing of people going on, the players need to. Obviously, there's a way to make the players right. train up. So we need to look what. Uh, who are here, said this? Fabian Taylor, Ajani Talbot, Trial Davis, some. Yeah, go ahead. Hold I your can't remember which one of the coaches who said this, but here's what they said. They said, listen, we need to look what, if you want the players to play in Europe, you have to go and look at how Europeans play and prepare the players. Don't prepare the players for Manning Cup, don't prepare them for Dakar Cup, don't prepare them for the JPL. Prepare them for Europe. Because that's what you want. That's where you Manning's, want them to go and play. We've been I said this in the mornings. I was saying this from the I said to people that the way in which the players you have to re-engineer and relearn the players um certain things. Because for example, when you're growing up, the way you control, the way or you pass, the, the things that the things that makes even even um a Jamaican player. Some of the things that we have learned football the wrong way in terms of even to target these markets. We learned it the wrong way because, for example, man is man. A man do a million step over and him don't progress the football. We feel I be a hey, hey. You don't progress the football because guess what happened? We're cultured. We're cultured in a way where we see Brazil, a Brazilian make ten step overs. These players play futsal. They play street football, and they know how to step over and progress the football. So by the time they get into I'm um, playing organized professional football. That's the way they play. It's in there. It's in there. Bringing up, but we know when a man step over the ball ten times, the ball don't move five feet or five inches. But well, we don't and need we, to. We don't need to do what the Brazilians do because we're not really going to Brazil to play. We're going exactly. to Europe. Exactly. That's why we need to play functional football, total football. Ah, uh, man, in see. Say, um, Balakur mentioned number seven, and he's having a tough start to the season in a Balakur. The last two rounds before this last round, he missed some glorious scoring opportun opportunities. That's so, he needs to work. Timar Lewis, yeah, Lewis, and him have a huge um show to fill now that the workload is gonna be on him up there alongside Reed. And he struggled last season. I don't really want to put him on it, but he struggled last season as well, Balakar. So, yeah, you put it, you're adding more spotlight to him in a Balakar right now by saying that. You, did you know say Mr. Penalty today, too? Balakar. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. No, but I say, I'm, I'm just saying, it, 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 the way in which, I said it, man is man, a too good feel you have in a Jamaica. Two good field. And the two good field, one is a schoolboy field, and the other one is a, a, a field in Clarendon. No other field no good in our country. Can you imagine? And we plan to go somewhere in football. Can you imagine? Hold on, that? hold on, hold on there. Um, Lewis, where the 11? Uh, who is my talk with your seven foot? The number seven, the number seven for Harborview. Uh, in start? No, there was no number seven for Harborview. No, I'm mean, not remember number seven. Uh, number uh, eight. Above uh. you never had no number seven to the baller car. There was no number seven. But man, you know. Baller car, get the number right. There was no number seven today, and there was no number seven on the bench. There was a there was a there's a um a guy, I think he plays, he was at Carnival College that he came on. I think he was the last substitution. Oh, oh, McDonald, I think his name or something McDonald, like that. McDonald, right. McDonald. Is, yeah. I think he's yeah. from Manning Cup. Chavon, yeah. Chavon McDonald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Him, yeah, yeah. Him have potential. Him need to work on him game. Yeah, man. Because remember, so we play without Reed today, you know. So, so some players have to step up to compete in you know, some positions. Yeah. But yeah, him have potential, man. 
Yeah. What yeah, somebody said what I'm saying that if 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 you're going if you're going to get players going into Europe, you have to what are the Europe what is the European style of play? Not to take on man and shift and all of those things. No. Fast, accurate passing, good control, running out the ball. Up. Those things you have to coach in the youths them. Because it's European market they move into. You they watch too much Neymar and too much Robin and too much Dennis. <laughs> Why? You know, that is hurting um, a position of the CDM too because they don't glorify the CDM position in Jamaica, you know. Nobody don't want to play it. Yeah, but exactly. Think, so but, that... I think what, 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 Jay, I think the, the thing is, you know, understand. I don't understand even Jamaicans, you know, because if you glorify how Brazil play, you realize that Brazil adjusted to glorify a C, the CDM. The, basically, they play with one CDM, but Brazil adjusted and started making an emphasis on having a CDM in their team. Yeah. Because if, if, if where the guy from Arsenal name? The guy at Arsenal. Simitro? No, man. Before. The, the Silva. He didn't play for Arsenal. Which Silva? Gilberto. Yeah, man. From Brazil? The CDM. Yeah, from Brazil. Yeah. And Gilberto, even for, yeah. for Fernandinho, for Casemiro right now, Casemiro is vital to what Brazil is trying to accomplish going Man, forward now. Hold on, CC. Yes, Balakar, go ahead. Drew anywhere that I, look, I cannot know your team, man. Never does. <laughs> Matt Daniel, may I talk about you, know, man? Matt Daniel, play number seven for you, for you, for you, for you, bad man. Yeah, we, we got that, man. Shavon Matt Daniel, from Cornwall College. Yeah, from Cornwall College. You know, may I tell you, say I'm a player good. I number 11 for that straight penalty to them, man. Yeah, but what? Matt Daniel, Matt, Matt Daniel, keep... Ma, yeah, my mother and came on. I mean, it wasn't enough. I, for... I first gave this to them, man. I say, them for us watch all for the youth there. Okay, yeah, man. It was a good midfield at Cornwall for real. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, happy man, that he's. Tell him say, tell him say, I correct myself and I show him at that. <laughs> yeah, watch out, team. A good ball. <laughs> you know, when they travel in the Premier League, you know, we kind of follow them. All right, boss. You have a, you have a, you have a liquor midfield midfield I will play for Pope Morning um, Malik Stevens number, number, 16, number so. 16 he's around 16 year old man very good baller hey man I know 16 man a big man Ma, how much year old a 19 but he's not defensive he's <laughs> <player. laughs> a 19 he's a big man he's <laughs> <laughs> man I know 16 man but where you are going now no? yeah he's a, a, a right midfield in play now he used to play for Mushet and then he went transfer to a, a man row. And then he moved, got he left. He needed a play for Alan United too, you know. And then he left, come and go one team, our next team at Chulan, and then left go Portmore. Yeah, man. All right then. So, All right. So yeah, man. But Jay corrected himself. All right, Balakar. Yeah, man. I have call you and make you know, man. All right. Tell man. him, sir, if he need to tell about the country ball of them, man, because the island have enough baller, but we can't cover everybody. I know everybody is in me. The ball of car, you need, need to come help. on to the show, come talk to us about the, yeah, the ball of them in the rural era when we can. Yeah. Get um, this we need to check out this ball though because here Christopher Wright saying that Rio, the same person we're talking about, he scored 41 goals and 12 assists in 44 games for Tottenham under 18 before Olympic Leon bought him. Rio Griffiths, fresh gotta check it out yet, fresh god peso. Check out. And you, yeah. Erling Allen. <laughs> we need to check out this player, man. Real. Man, you can know when a ball Real is still eh? How long ago, yo? Yeah. That's the you thing, too. Well, he's, oh, 20, he's, 20, he's 21 years old, and he did and um and he did it at under 18. So that can be more than three years ago. So he's been at Leon about yeah, about three, four years now, probably. No, not four, but three years now or so. Dan so Kasta we need to know, man. yeah. Him that Dan Caster now. In the Dan Caster. Dan Caster. Yeah. That's yeah. different than two. But he's twenty-one, right? But he, what he's saying is that this is yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If you check out the player here, because if a man scores, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he might play division two. But him score fifteen goals in a thirty-nine game. In for division the, two. No, for Dan Caster. For the under nineteen and B team Philian. Oh, okay. oh, oh, so, so he's not a bad agent, man. <laughs> he needs to work on him, agent, then, man, because with them stats and them numbers, there, he should not play a D1, D, League 1, League 2 ball. Come on, 
No, but remember, you know, remember, I say he's in the striking department, and I can tell you, remember, it's not necessarily them thing, them thing, or something, you know, you know, you know um, Jay, where the, the, the amount of persons, and then right now, for example, like a Tommy Abraham, Tommy Abraham, have left go Roma, they forget some play. The I, irony of it is the man who buy him, and people them say, I believe in a youth, is was a Marina, but it just goes to show you the competition for striking in, in these in the league is 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 heavy need a better agent though man tottenham to olympic leon and then end up a doncaster it gotta be a loan deal or something like it gotta be a loan no man no man i buy them buy man for a non-disclosed sum two and a half year deal yeah. so i'm gonna end up at, at toulouse in a league two of france need <laughs> Are in the uh, championship, but no, I mean, he's 21 years old. An Englishman, man, is my this already. An Englishman, uh, Christopher Wright, is, is he, is, hold on. Christopher Wright, is he does he have some connection to Jamaica? Yeah, where's he from? In the oh, set yeah. earlier, I know big up team up. 27 goals, man, is man in 20 matches last 20 up, um, for Tottenham's U18. You know, I mean, I play U18. One season was in twenty in twenty yeah. games. That in looked one, in one that season. Looked, that looked prolific for him. You understand me? That means it. That, them just How's he going on now at Doncaster? What's what's the stats so far this season? That I want to see. What has he done lately? That I want to know about. Oh, like what right. what make him jump out to us? Uh, not from the previous three years ago and two years ago. What what is he doing lately? Of you at this too bad Westmoreland, Lewis. So, Lewis are from Westmoreland, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man, and, and Harding. But yeah, I'm man, Harding, I put it a player, man. Are you muted? You muted, Kimo. What about Shea Smith from Pomer? He has two goals. He pick up a little knock in the which game the, the last game that Pomer played. Not this, the one Shea, yesterday. Shea, Shea Smith went to Wilmers. From from Portmore. No, yeah, man, but he went to Woolmers or JC. He went to Holy Trinity when they played in the semi final against against yeah, yeah, JC. Yeah, 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 number yeah, yeah. seven. Yeah, good and ball about the, the ball. He won, he, he won he won the Premier League with them at uh, at when he after he left high school. While he was yeah. going to high school. But the, the forward that is going on with some things now is is a youth named Warner Brown from Tivoli. The youth that was at stats last season. Because he has scored oh, three goals in three games. So, so I mean, but it's early days. Yeah, <laughs> Shea Smith is a good looking forward for real. Because, no, uh, Shea Smith played, when, when, when he won the league with Portmore, Shea Smith was playing left back. And Shea Smith, when he was going to school, he, used to, he, he was playing CDM. And he was utilised playing different positions. But now, he's mainly used as a, a number 10 and a winger. Okay. I know Martin and a winger, so it's not just oh, one position. Now, it's good defense. What an age, age um, group. How old is he? I think, I think he's like 21, 22. That's good age, man. Yeah. 21, um, they, 22, it's not old. They're saying that the guy just, um, um, real. You, you found anything? CC just signed for Doncaster. CC, I heard that, man. He said that game. I spoke to him. Spoke to him that day and said that. You want to score what twenty goal this season? He was going to play That's yesterday, right. but but he got a little knock. So the, the coach not wasn't gonna risk him, knowing it's early days. Okay, say so support more your support. No, I'm an Arborview supporter, but it's a guy that I I, I know from a long time. So just a support him, knowing that Mal is command for the panel. You know, oh, so I'm telling him to keep on putting in the work. Just tell him to keep on putting in the work. So it's just a. One individual who actually know about uh, him actually make me pay attention to the league because basically we never did really have followed the league. But now we see the importance. So we have to support the league just as we support the other prospects in Europe. So we have to just support it until we get to know these players and spot the little young talents. But you have this guy, the same whisper, Dujan Richards. I mean, you guys have to keep eye on that player, you know. Yeah, Keep fire, but one of them, yeah, one of them, the stats good, good, good baller. 
um and and this guy Shaki, the Bradford guy who went overseas as well from Waterhouse from last season because he was tied with Aquasa Chang and Junior um Jordan Fletcher for the most goals in the league and thing but run run say is it this comment run say I must read tell me the name of any government CC run is asking you to Tell him the name of any government business. No, in because I think I was saying that only two good field we have in the country. And one is George's field, which is a schoolboy field, and the other one is Brancourt. But now no other field in the country. And I think people t- tend to like um look down on the fact that we don't have good fields and, and think that they can achieve great things out of not, not having good football pitches. Okay. You know what okay. they can do? You know what them could knowing that them are playing on the captain or the Orius Boreal field now, them just dig up on it and dig up above you and turn it in an artificial surface thing. No, 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 we don't want to no, artificial no, no. surface. But... Tell you, remember we have football factory, we have done we have a lot of places we have artificial surface where the man them play regularly, you know. Artificial mm-hmm. there, but I t- tell you this me play an artificial service and it's bad on your ankles because I tell you when you don't play. Probably for icy ankles. That's how yeah. it, and that's a different feeling than when you're playing on, on, on grass. Yeah. You understand? So I can understand that part. And normally well, night football. CC, let me tell you this. Going to the World Cup, I mean, this campaign, I mean, four years ago for 20, 20, 2018 campaign, my mind not on Jamaica football at all. Prospect, not at all. A friend on my side. You understand what I mean? I say? But from the Gold Cup, my, my, the bloggers, them, everybody does draw my attention till we start take this thing serious. Some know say you oh, wanna have a big impact on people. And I mean, if you give up the work, give up and stop, we do on the, the football like a job, the standard like a job. The changes now gonna make. But as long as you keep up with it and keep on putting this information out there and apply the pressure, just like AFT. AFTV always apply the pressure for us and alone now. Why we not rabbi? They never, the never apply the pressure in the transfer window here. You understand? We have to apply the pressure just to see him. Or we have to pick out the pinpoint and get because regardless of your seat, you know, we have to constructive criticism and then again idea from whatever we are doing. It's just accurate and effective. You understand? They must take idea, they might get idea. So we have to put out the points. You see me? Them say several brothers, several different minds. I read us, I use all of the, everybody idea and take it. Use everybody's opinion and put it together for it makes sense. Because I want Jamaica, we have to put in the work. We have to have, we're building for 2026 and start 2023, 24. It's not now, right after the campaign. We start, we have to look on, we have a lot of talent here. You okay. understand? It's just how we nurture the talent, send them go to Europe. You understand? Play against some other quality youth from different countries where I'm going to grow up if you become the world star in the next couple of years or so. You understand? Because you have 16 year old, a big, a big ball. A messy start when I'm 16. Some people start. You know, hey, yeah. Chris, Chris Wright, um, yeah. link me on IG and tell me more about that player there. Remind me because I don't remember going through the comment section. But yeah. yeah, you need to tell me about that player there. And let me know. Um, let us know as well if, if yeah, he yeah. Rep- if he's interested in representing if he has Jamaican connection one or if and if he wants to represent Jamaica, right? But go ahead, Dre, and just tell him. You might forget upon the uh, radars. These players that have these ages, 21, 20, 19, you know, good ages. So we need to get them on the radar so that we can start follow them and find out their interest because you never know. And um, because of his roots, Tottenham, Leon, um, now Doncaster, he have a good resume building up. So if in the future he make a big jump and then guess what? He's bagging in the goals like Ivan Tony. Then why Jamaica wasn't aware of him back when he was bagging in them at 18 and 19 and 20 and 21. So yeah, link me on IG and then let me know about the player when he play. Remind me. Yeah. Run! It takes a long to jump on on the program. Your time. You wait. You wait until the program finishes. Run. I keep frozen. Freeze. Run. You fro- you're frozen, man. We're not. Te- May I hear? May I hear? Man, I hear me now. Why? Why am I calling? I give problem. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah, we hear you. We hear you. You know, like it sounds statically. 
Oh, go ahead and share, man. Your turn. See, see, big up, Dre, what one? Big up yourself, man. There. Go what, on, say, what say you, man? Go ahead, man. Your, share, share your thoughts. Me, me there, me there, yeah, man. Me yeah. there, listen to the whole thing, brother. But um, me have to chime, me have to chime in real quick and fast, you know. More, more while you don't know they're on the road up and down from here to California and all kind of things. You understand? So busy, but you don't know we still tune in. Me, 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 me hear you mention Burton son, Burton son, Dean Burton son, man. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a true though. Oh boy. Yeah, man, Dean Burton, son, brother, Dean yeah, Burton. Yeah, yeah. I talk about him, son, brother, same son, ready. Yeah, you man. See me? He's yeah, 16 man. Years, 16 years old. Yeah, man. See, see. Something. Yeah, 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 brother. Me, me frightened when we see, me frightened when we see me. I said, what? You know? Yeah, man. Good, good. And him tall, too. Big, tall defender. Yeah, man. I think he's six feet me? three. Six feet three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I'm a, and I'm a play for um something um already. I'm a play for um the team though. Uh, Burton um response for the under twenty three. The um what name again? Uh, um, it's Preston. I, I don't remember, but he's in the under. No man, Preston man. It blue on blue. It blue on white. Blue on white stripe team. Um, we just get relegated. Darren Moore coach them. Oh Sheffield. No man, Darren Moore. Um, they they. West Brom. Well, anyway, West anyway. Brom. But I go baller West still. West Brom. West Brom. West Brom. Yeah, West West Brom. Brom. Yeah. yeah, man. Right. West Brom, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. West Brom. Man. Under 23, my play for about. Yeah, man. But let me tell you something, man. My virgin, my virgin, they are Juventus. I'm um, talk regular scene. The man, them sit down, brother. The man, them sit down and I watch the game, them. They watch the Manning Cup game and they watch the Dacasta Cup game, them. And they marvel over the talent of the youth, them, or they must see, brother. You understand me? I say so. Oh, when oh oh them I marvel over the talent and a ta and a, and a, and a, oh, in 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 good standards and have good regard to our talent. And we can we 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 can see it and make use of it when when we get it. US MLS scout them run come in take you? them out as them please. Uh, right now, run you right, see right now. Right now, we will talk to the man tomorrow on the program. The man there, Jamaica. Because the man see the youth, they will play, come for, for bring ball overseas. And watch this, on yeah. Thursday, on Thursday, we have an next person from Guadeloupe. And Friday, we have an next big UFA license coach who are talk about the talent with their Jamaica. So there is talent, you know, like we are saying. It's just, what are we doing with the talent? And that we need to figure out. Yeah, man, it's a shame, brother. It's a big shame, you know. It's a big shame that we have all this talent. And, and the thing about it, the outside forces know about with talent. You understand me, I say? The outside people, them know about it. And we just, you know, as me say, how many they talk to today? Um, oh, military. It yeah, look like we need, it look like we need some farm um, players. We need some farmer players to run our football. You understand me, I say? We really love the thing and really want to see the thing reach far further than we're supposed to reach. Yeah, definitely. Dre, anyway, uh, Travis said, Arena inside, but him support on it. You hear me? Above you and Mount Pleasant and Facebook and IG. <laughs> Too much size. <laughs> My mentor. <laughs> so, rank you want to rank them in that order. One, two, three, four, rank. Might as well him follow the entire league then, man. Big up yeah. Travis for giving with player names, you know, that's not on the radar and where them come from down at the rural area side. There. Big up, man. Yeah, man. And big up, big up Carlton Alexander, a.k.a. Clug in the building. And then Christopher Wright is letting us know that the, the guy, um, um, his parents are from Jamaica. So I really Rhea, Rhea Griffin. Yeah, his parents are from Jamaica. All right. Hey, man, I still see me for lending a mic, you know, um, a microphone in, 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 a, in a run. So, so go on. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, well, <laughs> see, see, me, I tell you, see, see, say, man, them, the man, them, no the maintain nothing, see, see, the man, them, no the maintain the feeling, brother. They, no, they, they make the feeling pretty, I'm let me tell you something. Me play for artificial surface here in America, brother. Me play for about seven years for artificial surface. 
most of the universities them over here artificial surface brother and everybody most of the people are get uh, acl tear and them type of way the brother wicked 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 most of them you take it acl tear upon it it's, simply, so it's not a good thing and just because they don't want to uh, maintain the grass and thing that is why the university yeah but they're not put, they're they, not they, put they, the they, artificial they, surface they, you know so therefore so the so therefore, so go ahead, CC. They not put the American football. They not put the American football players on the artificial surface. A grass. No, because that is traditional. But that's that is traditional, player, brother. That is traditional. <laughs> yeah. Remember, say, remember, say, soccer. Remember, say, soccer, football, 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 soccer. Just come round and come get popularized over 1994, 90. Yeah, exactly. Them just get popularized here. So therefore they don't really yeah. push that so much and them NFL them care about. You understand what I mean? I say, um also remember, um the first year New England also play um on them artificial surface. Well, I mean I watch the MLS, um I watch our Jamaican Premier League. I mean I see a lot of players, brother. It's when they get hot in a Jamaica. The studs the mafia change regular because the artificial surface is plastic. You understand what I say? A plastic surface, so therefore the boots get hot. You have to throw water and the boots are just not a good situation. Me surprised how more yeah, people the, um not get uh, torn. But they can't play in the studs in a run. Yeah, yeah, can't play in studs. Yeah, yeah, man, they can't play in studs, but it's special. It's a rubber one. Oh. But yeah. I do, but it, but but man is but it is still yeah, not RP, man. RP, most of them play now, man. RP, yeah, yeah. So it, you can't play, play with RP, if you play better, yeah. But you can't all play in purpose, all purpose, them play now. You understand me? With, with all purpose, cause it to slide. So the, the stud, um, the studs kind of give you a grip, but it's a, it is a is a rubber studs, not the hey, uh, man, the, the man long, is the long one. Yeah. Eh? Man, it's when I say slide, you know, boy, I see, I see one man slide now thinking I don't be all in the game, a man dash him with. Up here, here. <laughs> man, let me tell you, see the artificial surface. I know them thing there, you know. Like when I catch a man, I say, though, as bad as it is on the feet, it does make the football look better. When when the team then start pass around the ball, it look really good. Still, man, I'm telling no lie. Look, look good, man. They good. never play on them, man. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. Them not tell say it look good and think it's just a difficulty. So I can't manage it, you know, because me, me have bad ankles. Me have bad ankle because me get an injury from. Long, oh. Ankle injury. That's what so. I'm you, that's, yes, that's genius, so you can't play on it. Ankle. I tell you, yeah. I tell you, man, when we don't play on it, man, is a ice on the ankles. At 9 o'clock already, bro. Yeah, man, you, we have, we have, have right. done this, of course. Yo, well, big up one them in a great program and thing. Yo, football and yeah, easy. I don't know. Yeah, hungry, yeah. hungry. Yeah. We come here from work <laughs> and the food are right. So I watch it. I talk about football and the program and the JPL and the players. Yeah. Man, big up on yourself, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, respect, yeah, respect. Yeah, man. One view, sir. One view the yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Cheap point, you know. We're going to go up further up the table now. We're climbing, man. Big up on yourself. There. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Big up, Dre. Big up, Dre. Yeah, man. All right. Um. Um. Oh, hold on there. Oh, yeah. So, um, you said Jabari Hilton. He played for Jamaica in in the game where we lost four one. He's now in El Salvador. Um, I think he's born in Atlanta, Georgia. He's, he's born in the United States, you know, but a Jamaican national player. Um, Stone Love said we seem to have a, a love affair with these foreign players. I feel we can use them, but they have to be exceptional. I agree. I think I always said that. If if listen if if you are average, <laughs> are you, no, I don't matter where you play, you you average. You must be exceptional. Totally agree. Stone love. See see, we have around seven minutes left before we hit the three hour mark. I mean, what what say you in closing? We have the game tomorrow. You don't know me have to be there still, you know, because I will support the team. Do me like how things are go, but yeah, man. What are your thoughts on tomorrow? Um, and then I'll ask Ron for his thoughts and then we'll close out. Well, my thoughts on tomorrow is just saying that basically, um, what we have to try to do is that to take shame out of our eyes, man, and go try and go and win the remaining half games. It's better to finish on 19 points and hear that we don't qualify than to finish on several points and just throwing away the points, right? Because at the end of the day, we still have the rankings. To play um to keep up and stuff and yeah i think image wise we, we just it, it would do a lot of good a lot of um justice for the teams 
team to see that they could get a few victories. And you never know what card can play. I remember, you know, Matt can save us. All right, sir. Man, 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 I hope. <laughs> so we shall see. All right. Remember, you know, from Panama, I lose, I still have hope. Yeah. All right, all right. If Panama wins, Panama wins. For some reason, for some reason, I don't know if you're not hearing me, but for some reason, the internet uh, run, the internet bad man. No, no, and the boss they not big US of hey. Yeah. Yeah, but man is one for my, as me tell you, man, one we just want Panama not to you see, this is the reason why you have to take your chances when they get it. Cause right now we are depend upon Panama not to win one more game. Then because if they if they don't win the next game <laughs> and look they have to uh, uh, see, here's a me, here's a me different from one. Me is a realist. Me have, listen. Me not don't do no calculation. Me, Bridget, don't put yourself through that trauma. Don't do no calculation. If we win, we win. If we win, we win. Yeah, you don't, no, no, put yourself through that, brother. You got to talk about mathematics and if Panama this. Hey, no, you, know, you know what is the worst? Don't put yourself through that. You know what is the worst thing, man is man. You know what is the worst thing? That's what I'm telling you. These workout qualifiers set up a way, you know. Because I watch it. You realize, even if we're in the position to qualify and we reach down to the last game, what well, I don't know. What, as I say, we win, we win. Whatever results comes, we, we take it. You understand? We gave. Yeah. Big up, big up. You get, we, gave, we gave away the opportunity. We, take, we took faith out of, our, out of our, our own hands. And whatever comes, comes. But. I am predicting a win for the, the team tomorrow to build moral and stuff going back home and then coming back for the next window. So I will I'm willing to give out predictor, prediction of 3-1 because we can't keep a secret. So we are gonna we are can see we can't keep a secret man is man, so we have to start that. May I go a match, me go a match, me go shout for Jamaica right to the end, me come back on my yard, anything happen happen. Brother, yeah, man, man, is man. Yeah, man. Pretty score, man is man. Three one. All right, boss. No, me have no score prediction. Me have no team selection. I'm just a go a match. <laughs> I am boss, but I still support them, man. I don't Definitely. know. Definitely. But but I think that more persons are supporting of Jamaica right now than prior to like four years ago in than twenty eighteen. Now you never see this kind of um before and, and i think maybe because you have the whole social media um everything now but i mean we can only look for a brighter future because coming the next workup cycle is 48 team and can kakaf get six and a half spot mark your three spot will be going to the automatic qualifiers if they do it like that because they still haven't confirmed it so if they continue with the normal tradition then three the three o's that is mexico canada and the United States would be automatically entered into the tournament and then, you know, fight it out for the remaining spots. But going forward, you realize that it would be easier for, I'm not saying easier, but there's more possibility or chance for you to go through, go through. Bridging. Like, Bridging. Stop. No, I'm talking about 2026 and beyond. Oh, 2026 and beyond, I'm talking about. Never get this, uh, listen, we just uh, leave this whole thing. And we'll see what happens. May I try help you know, but I don't want to help you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, uh, well, as we said, still, um, I just I just think that um, whatever went whatever went wrong, went wrong. And we have to just uh, actually just um, accept the results as they come. And yeah. just look forward to, to a better team. Sometimes in a man's money, I don't think you can. Sometimes I don't think it's change strategy. Are not saying to change strategy, but I think we made a right move in tra- changing of the coach and changing of certain things because so it's better to roll the dice than to regret rolling the dice. <laughs> all, all I always say is, <laughs> um, with more last four games, you had one win, three jaws, so you got six points. But the Hall have six games, and those four you have two losses. So we'll see. I don't think I don't know how much of a difference it 
the coaching change uh, will will make in the end but we'll see i think like i'm going to go at the match if jamaica play much next week me going still go if they when they play much i'm going to go because i'm going to support jamaica that's me but right now the hopes of them qualifying i don't have any if it happen like me say me I'll be at the match then but me now put myself through that brother I'm not doing that. <laughs> you can't. You can't manage it. Be careful. My heart can't take it anymore, my brother. <laughs> but big up and thanks, CC, for coming on. Really appreciate you being with yeah, me man. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Chris Roman. No, no, no. Waganis thing, man. Me, me, me I'm, I'm not missing. When, when this run down, it don't matter if the, it don't. It doesn't matter who they're gonna use. I'm going to still go to the match, right? still wear my Jamaican colors, but I think the, the chances of us going through are very, very slim, but me still, I said Jamaica. I just some, I just some things there. Me, me, I'm like that. You understand me? Um, Jamaica, you think there. You understand? But I want to thank all of you um, for, for being here with me this evening, um, for staying um, on the program as we discuss some local football. You know, we could have spoken about international football and the national team, but we want to highlight the good things that are happening with with some of these guys. I always tell people that football in Jamaica changes many lives. You see, when a youth leaves from a particular community and he goes overseas and gets a contract and he's able to build his mother a house and his father and, you know, help his family, that is a tremendous thing. When he goes to college because of the sport, and make something of his life. It helps to make us have a better society. And so the more of these youngsters we can help to move out of Jamaica into Europe to earn some of those money, it, it better it is. And next summer it gets changed. And that is awesome. You understand me? So if every year Jamaica can have a hundred youngsters going into Europe and earning some euros to transform their communities and their families most importantly that's tremendous tremendous you see the lovell palmers who did it the andre blake and the javon watson the alvis powell the kemar lawrence these guys and so many others kaim paris these guys overseas shamar nicholson about to do it the corey burks the all of, most of them never had it but the football gave them an opportunity and they have made the most of it and that's what we want to see you know, even if we don't qualify for the World Cup, at least we'd have seen that football has enabled some youngsters to a better life. So there is a little hope and a little rejoicing in that. All right. Again, thank you so much for sticking and staying for the three hours that we have been here. Remember to hit the like button. And please, I mean, so nice if you would subscribe if you have not. Tomorrow, I'm going to have. Bobby Murphy, yes, on the show with me. It's going to be a good, good conversation. He's in Jamaica looking for more talent. The former coach at Orlando City, yeah, and he's in Jamaica right now meeting with players. And he's going to give us his thoughts on football in Jamaica from what he has seen. Sometimes you have to hear from others how good they think Jamaica is. For us to begin to see the good that lies in Jamaica. Respect, one and all. Jamaica, land, we love.